We good? We yes, are. We are live. Hmm? We are live. We're live. All right. Good evening. You wonder, Mike, hope these guys <clears throat> will start uh, taking things seriously, but then you don't know. You know, <clears throat> for example, so I, I mean, I think I laid out pretty good. I want these guys to get there. Let's go with that beard. Oh, it's quite long. I'm getting a trim this week. Don't worry. Don't fret. Yeah. I've missed you guys. I've been a wreck since you left. The blind Luke Combs <laughs> or somebody. Is that one of the... Is that one I, of say, the I walk in, I say, give me the Jason Worth. Yeah, Jesus. So there you go. Good, good one. Good. <laughs> so I tell these guys to get their shit together. Focus on what matters. And I get a text from Justin. Which do you think was tighter? <laughs> in <on>. Frank's <laughs> living space or her box? Which I think is so inappropriate. <laughs> There's no way so he meant to send that to you. Obviously, it was uh, meant for one of his on group so, chats. And he said, oh, wait a minute. She was 13. <laughs> <laughs> that just seems to me so wrong. <laughs> but, hey, I mean, I, what, what do I want? <sighs> Justin, why do you do that kind of stuff? <laughs> he doesn't respond. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. Well, he's been good, huh? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Morale has felt low. You ready low to quit Justin I've or no? Have you, have you given up? Uh, we're getting there. Oh, oh really? <laughs> I don't know. If you're done, just say you're why this, this, by the way, I sound bad. Like, I just sound weird. I think you sound great. I checked on the YouTube. You sound. Okay, but I, I sound weird in my own. Like, I can't hear myself, really. Maybe it's my. Turn your Do you need a little louder? Maybe it's my mic. There we go. I'm better now. Okay. <clears throat> What's that, Justin? I said maybe you need to be turned up. Yeah, no, I'm good. So you're thinking of quitting? No. Okay. Good. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want either one of you guys to quit. It, it's felt. Uh, I don't know. Down in here. Has it? What maybe. Gonna, maybe I'm reading into it, but it, it's not as. Uh, what are you going to do? It's not, it's a, it's a, it's as not as easy. It's not an easy job, and I never said it was going to be an easy job. You know. Look, I mean, this is this is what it is. <clears throat> you know. Um, they took a beating last week, and let's see how they respond. They have one show this week. You know, they're going to be on vacation mode the rest of the week. So, <laughs> then we're back. You're gone next week, right? Uh, I'll be back later in the week. Okay, but you're, in, you you're doing the Lauren Compton thing? Well, who knows, Kirk? Okay. I don't know. I'm not <laughs> supposed to say. <laughs> when is When would that theoretically be posted? I, I think they're a few weeks behind. Gotcha. Like a, a backloaded or whatever you call it. So I would imagine sometime in March. That is, uh, okay. So March, you're taping that beginning next week, supposedly? Well, theoretically. Allegedly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, good, yeah. good, 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 good. So yeah, I'm not supposed to announce it, but it's very, very uh, subtle when she's like, well, what questions Did you ever a blind, blind man? man? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you going by yourself? Uh, no, the uh, the skirt is accompanying me. Oh. Making okay. a weekend out of it. Mm. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Okay, yeah. Could you see yourself settling down there if you like Austin with all the podcasting, all the comedy? I suppose. I'm a big Houston guy, so it'll be right. tough to rival. You've been yeah. once, yeah. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. <laughs> really, a huge Houston guy. <laughs> You know, nobody knows Houston like you. <laughs> I'm a San Diego guy. I'm a Vermont guy. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Well, good. Good. I'm looking forward to that. Yes. Uh, <laughs> that'll be funny. Um, but no, like, you know, and I was going back and forth with these idiot men the fans. Because it's been a while since I was sparring with them. I had some fun. Sure. And people are like, oh, you get to take a mental. I feel completely fine. I just wanted to have, you know, when they shit on you a bunch of times, I never understand when they shit on you like crazy and then you kind of poke back and then they're like, what the f you're, Whoa. you're sensitive. It's like, well, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, well, uh, you can also fight back. Like, yeah, I think that's okay. But I don't mind. They're, listen, I will say the one I respect the most oddly is sneakers because at least they came in here. These other guys had their chance and they're just, you know, couldn't yeah. do it. Couldn't do it. So, but they're welcome to that. They're welcome to their opinion. Uh, a lot of negativity, though. Too much negativity. So there'll be three weeks going forward on a temporary basis until I decide. Three shows a week. Th what did I say? Three weeks. Three uh, three shows a week. I'm sorry. Yeah. Until I decide that everyone deserves four shows a week. Okay. Yeah. And if they're bad, I mean, we'll go to two and then we'll go to one. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't matter to me. Yeah. And it's only one this week. It's only one. This is a free show. I mean, this is not, you know, I'm supposed to be off the, the entire week. Though I will be in Nashville on Thursday doing the unnamed show. Uh, wow. From Bus and the Boys Studio, I think Thursday, and then we're back next week for a full week of three shows. How would you grade? Yeah, two two shows and sort of like a quick. I pick little little things in comedy history and, and, and read Wikipedia about it for forty minutes. I've decided. <laughs> I think I think if you're going to do it, there might be a little more to it than that. You know, well, maybe give some opinions. And well, I'm going to start with the basic. I work my. I'm not, I'm not a master of it. Yet. Oh, okay, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, no, yeah. I see. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, when I do my big, uh, I would say Mort Saul, but that's already been done, right? It has, as a matter <laughs> of fact, yeah. Is there anything left? Uh, well, we're doing 
uh, Shane Gill is getting fired from SNL this week. That's that was topical. That's yes. good. That's smart. BlindMike.net, yeah. BlindMike Project, which is up today, I saw on YouTube. That's right. Yes, we're uh, live today. Live show today, which I watched some of. Excellent. Nice. Thank it looks you. like a nice uh, response. Must be nice to have the fan base. You're in the infancy stage where they still love you. You know. I said, well, there's a, a few, such a small base. That, well, that, that's not true. It's growing, though. It's growing. Sure. But even that's a good place to be. Once you get bigger, then you get angry people. That's what every subreddit is now that I'm on Reddit. Oh, I yeah. I don't pay attention. Every, there's not, I don't think there's a show's subreddit that likes the show they're talking no, about. No, but they do like it. That's why, that's right, why even right, today right. I'm like, everyone like It's like, you know, people get, people are like, why do you be down on your producers all the time? My answer is because they're stupid. I hire them, though, so it's on me, but yet they do continually do stupid things. So, you know, we'll see. I, I, I am not. Again, both these guys are. It's not a Gus situation. These guys are completely fine with their job. But you know, we got to get going here. Like you know, I, my biggest issue, honestly, from last week before we get into other stuff, was that Tuesday show when I came off that Monday thing where I was up for thirty hours. Yeah. I actually saw a couple of tweets there where people were like, boy, you mailed it in on Tuesday. I'm like, what the, fuck <laughs> what the fuck do you want me to do? I fucking did thirty hours. I was awake and I went into the podcast. I, I understand I was half asleep, but these. I don't know if you know this or not, but I thought, I thought their energy was about as low as mine on Tuesday, where it's kind of like I needed you guys. I mean, Jeff D. Lowe, I mean, one of the great... That was the weird thing. It was almost like they fe it felt like they didn't want to wake you up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like you got you, you know, to get going here. What, what, you guys look concerned. What's going on? Nope. Just changing up some camera angles, added some more in, so... Great. Doing some stuff. Yeah. Fantastic. Dynamite. Uh, great. Well, but I apologize about that energy level, Mike. <laughs> These guys are bringing it in. It's like, it is. You know. If you were trying to capture, like... Uh, it would be great acting if you, Titus, Jeff Delo, and Big Cat were trying to play tired men. Like, I've never <laughs> heard four men sound I was tired. cooked. I mean, I, you know, I'm not going to go over it again. But, yeah, I was absolutely gassed. I feel fine now. Totally back to normal. Uh, but I'm on the road again this week with Kate looking at colleges. And then I'm back. And then it's kind of portland focus for, I'd say, three weeks. We're doing a lot of Portland stuff while we're doing the show. Uh, probably after the show, probably take April and May off just to relax. Okay. Maybe do a show a week. <laughs> Okay. And then kind of get back. I'll, I won't miss the unnamed show, you know. No, of course. Or the golf gambling show, which we do. Riggs and I just do set privately. We, we decided. <laughs> Riggs was like, oh, yeah, I forgot. I'm like, oh, that's good, you idiot. So, that's good. Yeah, yeah. That we actually went over. Uh, our friend Coach HP made a video how to have a successful successful podcast uh -huh. in 2024. Uh -huh. And rule number one was start a podcast. That does help. So I think you and Riggs should follow this. You should watch that video. I guess what Dave, Whitney, and I have done. Yeah. It's available in podcast form, I believe, right? Yes. And they have shows. Yeah. So there you go. You were on it last week, Coleman. I was. Yes. Yeah. Was. How, how, would you grade, how would you grade Coleman's performance? I, felt, I actually felt bad for Coleman. First of all, it's, I mean, that is like. It's a vortex. It, it was just. Yeah. I mean, he was almost like Matthew Shepard, too. Like, it's <laughs> like it was just three guys beating on a gay guy. It was sad. That's but tough. I don't even know if shadow, I ever had. My shadow follows me wherever I go. <laughs> What is that? Snow. <laughs> oh, okay. Another loser. Um, but uh, context. Jesus, no context. Uh, what what hurt Coleman was that if, if we had a good show that day, I would have had his back with Dave, but I was in a sour mood. That, that's what that, I was about that, to say. That, is that absolutely killed him. I don't remember in the times that I didn't really. I, I, I didn't really believe what that was going. On. I was so mad at Coleman. I just was like, oh, good, good. Let's. <laughs> Dave was like, Dave was like, I'll forget it. But I'm like, why don't you fire him? Like, just fire him. <laughs> when, when Portnoy was like shitting on me, I don't think I ever had you coming at me with the same energy. Definitely not. <laughs> that was a tough. I think, spot. I, was, I, think I, think I was angrier than Dave. Yeah. Dave no, was, you definitely were. Dave was kind of like, yeah, what are you going to do? Yeah, I think Dave would have left him on longer, and you were like, get the fuck out of my sight. <laughs> The text with Whitney that day was, let me see, where is he? Ryan Whitney. Where's this idiot? <laughs> that morning, I said, I said that Thursday, just give you an idea of level of preparation we have. Uh, anything, 9.26 on Thursday. Anything you'd like to discuss today, I asked him? Whitney, yes. How many cocks Coleman has had in his mouth at once? Which we didn't even have a chance to get to during the show. What's the? Would you, would you like to get to that now, Coleman? Is this the the Jeff story? No, we're, we'll oh, save that oh, for. Oh, oh I do want to know. We'll save that. We'll <laughs> oh, save come on. That. We'll save that. <laughs> Although everyone's complaining, so next I'm going to be in Chicago in April. I'm not going to do any shows that week. And by the way, these guys always say to me. Barcelona always says, Dave. You don't have to worry about doing shows this week. You're here for doing it like like with the Ryder Cup or uh, in Miami a few years ago or trivia or this. Like you're here for us. Like you're, you know, you're working. Don't worry about doing shows. I do shows, but that lesson learned. Like you, you please nobody. So yeah. like, why do it? Like, what am I, what am I doing? Well, can I, why? 
can't or is it that you want them like as part of the show? No, they, can't no they, they don't have to be there. I guess that's what I'm asking is can't they just do the show from Chicago? Because that seems like an extra element Ooh, that might bring make down the, the show. Chicago? No, no, no. Oh, just I'm do saying the show. they could stream yeah, the show yes. from Chicago. Well, we've done right? that. Because doesn't that feel like an extra element that might make the stream crash? Because we've done that in the past. I think Dave's been in Chicago with me. Yeah. Or Steve in New York. Right. Yeah, we could. Yeah. I think that's what we're going to do. Probably going. If I do it. Yeah, but I might just not do it. Right. I'm just like, well, what the, okay, good. I can, you know, I can do something else. Yeah. Shoot hoops. People love when I shoot hoops. The fans love it. That's true. So, yeah, I, mean, I, I don't know. But, it, you know, it's. I understand them in the fans. It comes from a place of love. I get that. But it is annoying. And like, you know, I, whatever. It's all fine. So we'll do this show this week and then uh, I'll have a nice week off and then we'll be back next week. Do Without think- Mike, Mike will be, you know, be, uh, some threesome with Lauren Compton and Alba. I don't even know what the hell. <laughs> well, we'll see how things go. That, that, that and I'm not built for that. I'm just not. That beard's going to have, you know. <laughs> I'll shave. Pussy all over it. <laughs> Jesus. Don't worry, ladies. God. <laughs> They'll be happy as can be. Yes. It's nice so long as I've ever seen it, I think. I've probably let it get this long once or twice, but this is about the longest I can go. Yeah. yeah. yeah you look, yeah, you look, um, weathered. No, you look, you do look like a country <laughs> guy, though. You do look like the backup, like the second guitarist in like Zach Brown's band. Oh, good. I like that. I don't even know what that is, but Thank I know you. their name. Yeah. So, uh, what's going on with you guys? How are you guys feeling? How are you feeling, Justin? I feel good. I feel good. I was here the entire weekend. What do you mean you were here the entire weekend? Yes. You sleep here? No. No, I did not sleep here. <laughs> so you weren't here the entire weekend? Not the entire weekend. The majority. When you said the entire weekend, it was, you were not telling the truth. <laughs> Uh, yes, that, the, that, the lie that, well, hyperbolic. Uh, I'm just, yes, that was a lie. <laughs> Getting it. Quick, it, man, quick. T- timing is nothing. You know? quick. No. <laughs> Forget it. No, no, it's there. Nope, no. nope, I don't want it. It's what uh, would you say? I was here the entire weekend. Doing or, the, no, I was not here the entire weekend. I was here. For the majority of the weekend. I wouldn't even say that. Well, what the fuck? What just happened? I would say... Were you here this weekend? I drove by. <laughs> Who's in well, the What's area? going on? What? A good chunk of the weekend I was here. Okay. Doing what? That that stuff you were texting me about that I understand? Yes. Okay. That, well, then, I, I appreciate it. Yeah. And what? And just like redoing the wires and everything. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah kind of good. Okay. All right. How about was Coleman here much or no? Uh, yeah, Coleman was here. Okay. I was wasn't he, here Was he adding much Saturday. or Saturday. No? I was here Friday and Sunday. Or today. Okay. Today. What were you doing Saturday? Uh, my parents were in town. Oh, nice. Yeah. What'd you do? Uh, just like dinner, caught up. Oh, did you, make, did you go to, uh, did you see if they could just start up the marathon early this year or something? Did you go to uh, Rafters again? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. No, we were over at uh, Stockyard. Over that way. Oh, oh yeah. I like that place. Yeah, room, yeah. plenty of room there. Parking, there's room. Yeah, okay. So what do you got? What stories do you guys have? The burden is on you guys today. Um, I, I guess for me, I was just kind of curious, uh, where some of this was coming from towards the Minifans, like where it started, I guess. Uh, was it the Mike and the Minifans or was it just someone no, in particular? Uh, no, just in general, just the cuntiness. Like you go and you do, you bust, like, you know, I was working on zero. I gave these people shows for free. I didn't have to do them. I'm like you just bitch and bitch and bitch. And they're like, you're talking about the, fr-. I'm like, I'm in fucking Chicago. What am I supposed to do? What would you like me to talk about? Like, you know, if you don't like it, don't listen. And every once in a while, like every year or so, I'm like, I've got better over the last years. I'm like, just shut the fuck up. Like, I don't need to hear from fucking Steve Snell, who's afraid of his own fucking shadow, being like, oh, they didn't offer me the job. You would last in this job in for 30 fucking seconds. You were here for two shows, and you started pretending that people were mailing stuff. You would crack. I would never consider hiring you, ever. If you're the last person on earth, you wouldn't have the job. How many I would hire Bob from- Murchison before you. I would hire fucking Shirley before you. I would hire Linda Pizzuti before you. I would hire Sneakers before you. I would hire anybody. I would hire Mike's stepfather. Well, he's a good. He's a good businessman. Yeah, I mean, he fucking well, doesn't pay his taxes, but that's a different conversation. He's very open about that. Was, 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 was <laughs> first thing he ever said to me, he's like, "I've never paid taxes." I'm like, "I don't know you." Nice to meet you. He's very brazen about it. <laughs> that's a badge of honor in a way that he's gotten away with it. Point is, so although he'd obviously go to jail for this, ta- I'd still hire him in a second because I do right. like him. You know, right. I'm, I'm seasick and I pay my taxes, but still, we get along. Ahead of Snell, at least. Ahead of Snell, yeah. yes. And I get Steve Snell being like, "Yeah, they never offered me to just shut the fuck up." Yeah, well, got, and then I got Danny and Bill Ricca, who's like, who's like, uh, says, uh, uh, he's like, yeah, everyone's bitching about the YouTube and the audio not working, and and he's like, Kirk's Kirk's lying. He's being disingenuous. It's happened before. No shit, it's happened before. <laughs> I would say it's happened more with these guys than before. Whether it's because of Rob, whatever it is, I don't know. But it's happened more with Danny and Bill Ricca telling me I'm being disingenuous. This guy, and let's like, I've tried to be nice. Like Dave is a fucking scumbag. Like I've had enough of this bullshit. Like, he's using men of fans for money. He's a fucking scumbag. 
Like, you know, in, in, in Danny and Bill Rick has been like, you talk about disingenuous. Like, oh, I don't know what's going on with the situation. Oh, I haven't talked. Listen to me. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what's going on. Yeah. The guy's, the guy is using my success to find other fans to, to steal money from them. And I have Dave calling me disingenuous because I forgot when the YouTube wasn't working. I hope, da- I hope Danny and Bill Rick's fucking wife, because I'm sure it's Sunday night, Sunday night, right? That's probably one of the four nights a week where she puts a dildo on and fucks him in the ass because he forgot to bring the Honey Nut Cheerios home. <laughs> I hope she doesn't fucking lube up at all. I hope she puts in, breaks his fucking asshole Ugh, in half. That hurts. I hope it breaks it in fucking half. I have no patience for cunts like that. None. He's an asshole, and Daver is a lying, cheating scumbag. And he'll be a sensible twat about this. I'm sure he'll be a passive-aggressive little baby. But my patience level for people like that is at zero. Okay? And if, and if Danny Burke is not careful, I'll dox him. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. Next 10 minutes, I'm going to dox him. That's not his real name? I, I, huh? I, 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 no, it's Danny from Bill Rick. Oh, yes. oh, man. Yes. It's Dan from North Bill Rick. <laughs> no, I'm not going to dox anybody. But point is, shut your fucking mouth and calling me disingenuous. I think he's being a little bit disingenuous there. And BA is like, yeah, I like, shut the fuck up. I mean, shut up. Jesus Christ. That idiot who I like, but that drunk moron BA sitting there ripping. I'm like, Jesus, man. Like, y- y- you do shows for free. Like, literally, this the last week is free. Don't listen to it. So that's where it came from. That's the genesis of it. I'll get over it. Whatever. But I mean, like I've been like the Daver thing. I was like sitting there when I was running today, I listened to it. And I'm like, why am I pretending to be nice about Daver if Danny's going to be a fucking lying shithead like this? Like, you know, I mean, give me a break. They were stealing from people. God. <laughs> Guarantee, you probably, you know, he probably, I imagine he steals tips from other waiters. If he needs money like that, I would think. Did you notice anything like that bet, going on? What's that, Justin? I said, I bet he doesn't like tip out well. Oh, definitely not. Oh, definitely not. Oh, they're shitty tippers tonight. Yeah. Oh, Those yeah. people are the worst. <laughs> right. Yeah, definitely. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. It's weird. Everyone just crossed it out. Yeah. That's straight. what I'm saying. Yeah. So, I don't know. what were you going to say, Mike? Uh, did I, so I've heard, like, in the past, I think, like, Menors and stuff you played, yeah. like, criticizing, like, when you talk about trivia or surviving bars, don't you like that? Was this more than that or just the usual bitching? Just the usual bitching. But I was just, I, I, you know, I've been so fucking worn out this week. I'm fucking old. Like, I, you know, just traveling and doing this shit and doing shows. The second show this week, I was fucking three hours. Yeah. Like, yeah, the first show was fucking out of it, and the last show they fucked up. Totally. Like, it, it, was it the best week in show history? Of course not. It was fucking free. I could have done nothing. And don't, again, if you don't like it, don't listen to it. Doesn't matter to me. I'm going to make a lot of money if fucking Daver and Hull listens or doesn't listen. You know, not as much. I mean, well, I mean, he owes me money, but still. <laughs> you know, it's just like, God. It's kind of on you for giving it to him. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. Yeah, of course. Well, I mean, you know, he said, yeah, he said his, you know, he said his sister needed a transplant. Kidney trust, so I gave him some money. It seemed to make sense. I don't know. Sure. <clears throat> and the other and the other thing is I listened to that fucking stage five. Is this fucking guy gonna die or what? She's fine. Like what the fuck? I gotta be honest. I was I was hesitant to really go in on, but that was my issue from the start, is that he's no, like, who knows? S- yeah, I might have years to live. Super it's nice like, well, guy, well, but he sounds hit the bricks, pal. Sounds very healthy. I'm wondering <laughs> if he's lying. I wonder if this is like one of these like, you know. Well, he's one where he's a scam artist too. Maybe he's in with Dave. Or I don't know. I'm worried he's, now. He's actually just like 65 years old. He just dyes his hair. <laughs> yeah. He dyes his mustache or whatever. I like him, but Fitness Jesus, I'm worried. Like I don't think he's at the point a doctor would sign off on assisted suicide. No, no, no I don't. Way. I don't think so either. Like, if you just get diagnosed with like stage one testicular cancer, you can't just be like, no, he's obviously very sick. Of course, but, like, yes, we, but, we got. I mean, you no, know, he cartwheeled out of here. I thought that was weird. <laughs> I got to watch this asshole try and tee up a golf ball with one arm and like fucking fall over and shit in a couple of months. I don't have time for laugh. that. You can't laugh. That's no, you got to be like, oh, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. How's it going? How's yeah. you feeling? Okay. Yeah. Numbers good. Good. Wonderful guy. But like, I'd much rather be an asshole. So he's room for him to die. Sure. Now, I'm that, a, now that was the plan. Anyway. He's a guy I like. Now I'm going to feel bad. I don't want a guy like dying. No. You know, it's ridiculous. So that's on him though. You called for a guy you could kill. You know, that's what you wanted. And you didn't deliver, really. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah, so, that's, so that's the genesis of it all. But I'll be fine. Uh, uh, but you got, you got to fight back once in a while. You know, you have this crew who takes their shots and you sit there and then once you bite back, they're all like, oh, so it's like, no, this is how it works. You call me out, I'll call you out. Right. Steve Snell. Uh, what the fuck? Fucking Damian Bill Ricca. BA, these losers. Fucking. That's you know, fake news. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, yeah. Well, in the case of Snell, I think everyone with zero experience in that job deserves a shot. I think you should have every yeah, fan. Who lives four hours away and has no reliability <laughs> yeah. and is afraid of his own shadow. I think he deserves well, a chance. Like zero, I would never hire him. He's an asshole. Well, he said he's like, they never gave me a chance. But like, it was on the producers to reach out during the producer search and yeah. be like, hey. So they come, we invited him to the studio a few weeks ago. He didn't show up. 
So it's like, that's, you know, that's... Yeah, I don't know what he was talking about with the whole scheduling side of that. Like, I've reached out multiple times. I've tried to accommodate to him, and... He's a scumbag. He bailed. He's an like, asshole. Like, he's a prick. He wants Kirk to be like, oh, uh, I'm taking this Thursday off, so we're doing a show yeah. on Thursday. No, that's not how it works, Steve Snell. Like, you... Like, when I want to do the show, I do the show. If it doesn't fit in your schedule, that's okay. Like, then you don't get to be on. That's all. Like, I'm not going re- to rearrange anything around Steve Snell. I wouldn't do... it. I, if Steve's in the middle of the street, I'd run him over. I wouldn't, like, I have no, he's a zero on earth. If he was dead, the world would be a better place. Friendly reminder, well, I do think he, I believe it was him that asked to, like, get reimbursed for a hotel. Yeah, give him a cent. Not one penny. No way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. I'm fighting back. Nah, I've had enough. We've we've had enough. So, yeah. What were you saying, Mike? Isn't it kind of nice, though, that next Sunday you'll be able to listen to his show and remember that you said this on the podcast? That's true. He will recap. Yeah. Yes. That'll be good. So that's kind of helpful. Yes. I mean, that thing has just been a turd. Nobody cares. People mock him. He's the kind of guy who leaves a room people laugh at him. I've seen it. <laughs> I've seen it. It's just true. I've seen it. <laughs> I'd imagine in the rooms that you're in, it would be you laughing. When right. Well, people laugh at him when he's in there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So, but yeah, no, I'm in the mood, but, but I'm, in, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm feeling a little f- feisty. So, yeah. you know, I got one show left this week, so we might as well keep fighting. What else? Was there anything uh, left over from uh, Chicago? Anything that just came up or any, you know, one-off stories that happened? I don't think so. <clears throat> um, no, no. I didn't really talk to a lot of people when I was there. I will say, look, I love Dan. I love Dan as much as anybody at the company. Fucking other than him and like those part of my take guys. That's not true. Eddie... The old school Chicago guys. Nick and KB. Uh, Nick and KB. I don't want I shouldn't say that. There's just a lot of people there who didn't do no work. Like yeah. no work. I saw at one point thirty guys shooting hoops the day Dan was gone. <laughs> for like an hour. And I was like, I, I wanted to just pick them. I wanted to take a bow and arrow and just get them each in the head one by one. And that girl Gia shows up just to hang out. I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? I'm a little down on, on KB if I'm being honest. What's that? During that yak thing with uh Titus, he was kind of like, hey, like, I could tell he was like, this this is like, we're supposed to have fun here. I'm like, oh, God, leave me alone. I like KB, but she's like, leave. Like, can anybody be an asshole anymore? Like, why is it so, what the fuck? There's a weird thing with him. And because remember when Justin went to fuck with Clemmer? Yeah, he was, he was, and he was like, about he, that he was telling too. Justin to oh. keep, like, keep going. He was, oh, he was, I, he I, was. On, the, on the show, he was kind of pissy about it, though. If I right, remember. that's what I mean. Yeah. Beforehand. And he, I like, I like KB a lot. I think he's a really good guy, but he was like, he was like springing the Titus's defense, and I get along fine with Titus now. But I'm kind of like, Jesus, can I can I do this or not? Like, don't have me on. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I'm happy not to be on. I don't care. I, I love Dan. I, I love KB and Nick. They're all great guys. But Brandon. But it's like, Jesus, I don't know. What were you saying, Justin? Uh, no, KB was great during. He was a great guy, but I could tell he was like, I'm like just let him fucking fight for himself. I don't know. But no, I like. Um, no, I you know I don't. <clears throat> no, I don't think so. I was pretty. I pretty much kept to myself. You know, if I wasn't working, pretty much I was upstairs. I wasn't going downstairs much and hanging out. So no, no, no that was really no sandwiches good. from. Uh... <laughs> she was making them, but I didn't have any. That's too bad. I didn't have any. I'd like no. to know how they were. It'd be a good question. I don't know. Jeff forgot his peanut butter. He lost his peanut butter at one point. He's like frantic. He's like Mel Gibson in Ransom. He was like running around looking for his peanut butter. It was a little disconcerting. I I hate to phrase it this way, but I thought of you this weekend mm. because uh, I had a delicious soft pretzel. <sighs> I yeah, think people were like, great pretzel talk. I'm like, well, that's not the point. It was very funny when somebody says, to me, it's the best pretzel he's ever had. It was terrible. I, <laughs> it's just funny. Like, Big T's like a big idiot. So I, yeah. I, I, I thought it was funny. Where'd you have it? Uh, Chestnut Hill Movie Theater. Oh, is that right? Mm-hmm. The uh, showcase? Uh, is that the one? I think so, yes. What'd you see? Uh, Madam Webb. Ooh. Oh, my oh. God. Did you it's really? Quite bad. <laughs> Why'd you see that? <laughs> uh, we just, I, Alba wanted to see it, and I was like, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. I just, like, I, you know what? I got to say. Even seeing a bad movie in theater, there's something oh, nice. It's always good. Yeah. Like I, I enjoy, <laughs> and it was a, the kind of bad movie that you can be like, "This is stupid." And right. Enjoy it. Right, you know? right, right, right. You didn't see it, Justin? Not yet. Not yet. Yeah, it's so bad. That I think I'm. I'm actually saying the cake is we got to, some nights we'll just be hanging out. I'm like, we'll probably go see it one night this week down south just to yeah. laugh at it. So. Yeah, exactly. They did the, They do this thing where uh, that I, I love in movies like that. Where so Adam Scott plays Ben Parker. Oh, he does. Peter Parker's uncle. Jesus. Yeah. And uh, there's a so. Uh, spoiler alert. Peter Parker's oh. in the womb, right? <laughs> spoiler alert. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Peter Parker, I'll, I'll give this away. Peter Parker is born in the movie. Right. <laughs> and someone says, look at him. Get, uh, uncles get all the fun of playing with the kids and none of the responsibility. And one of the other oh, characters... Oh, hold on, God. hold on. And one of the other characters goes... That's what he thinks. <laughs> really? I swear really? Yeah. What? It's crazy. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> Jesus. 
Is Sydney Sweeney in that much? Uh, yeah. Oh, she is. Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. What's that? I said, oh yeah. I oh, heard yeah, she's well, in, in, in it quite a bit. Okay. How was yeah. Dakota Johnson? I mean, f- fine. She was saying she didn't even like see the movie at all. Yeah, I think she's distancing herself from. Well, the, a lot uh, of actors and actresses don't like to see themselves perform on screen. <laughs> I, I am just, so just in speaking for Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> Are people just tweeting at me? The audio is not working. Just to lie or no? I mean, I'm, we've been listening and. Okay. I mean, they may just be right. doing that. I don't yeah. know. Okay, I don't want to hear it, Justin. Sounds good, though. You sound... I, I don't know. Maybe it's fucked up. Really? Check in another room. I think it's good. I don't know if I believe you, Cole. <laughs> oh. Why would I believe you? That's Go ahead, fair. Justin. Let me know. Hmm. Get an update in a moment here. And then again, it's not that I even care. People are like, oh, you always said you don't care about the YouTube. That's basically true, but I do care about when I get the producers say, fix it, and they can't fix it. That, that suggests a bigger problem. Like, they can't fix other stuff if they can't fix this. You know what I'm saying? I think it's, that, it's a response. What? No, I was going to say, like, I don't like people saying that argument because we just should have a good show, end of the day. Well, good, Cole. You know? Thank like, you. I'm glad we're, I'm glad, I'm glad we're <laughs> unified on that. Fan, fantastic. <laughs> no, we can, no, it we sounds can, fine to me. We can sail across to India, you and I, together, and find spices. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Great, Great yeah. Coleman. I, can, I think I can handle the tractors, okay. but thank you. Go on. What do you think Coleman is as he's a... a shithead. <laughs> no, oh. no, no, no. That's not what I meant. Oh, what? <laughs> I like, like him, but he's a moron. I feel like you could... You know, like, I, I could very easily describe Steve and Dave, like their personalities. I couldn't just tell you what Coleman's personality is, really. I think that's his personality. It's kind of an empty... Yeah, right. He's a zero. Vessel. Yeah, he's a like who I forget who I've described. Uh, Harrison, remember old Harrison? Yes. I describe as a perfect zero. Yeah. Coleman's an imperfect zero. Oh. <laughs> also a zero, but maddeningly so. <laughs> like like Harris was like, oh whatever, until he became a baby. But even then, like he was a pretty good guy. And yeah. I liked his dad. So it all kind of he had long hair. So it kind of all evened out. Yeah. Coleman like had some promise, but it's just essentially there are like people in history. We'll make a great movie or two, or a great record or two, but then turn out to be a, a disappointment. That's Coleman, oh. without the greatness of the beginning. Right? You know? <laughs> wipe, wipe that out. <laughs> right, right. He's just basically a zero. Yeah. Wouldn't you say Coleman? I think I'm going to bounce back. That's okay. the spirit. Good. I we'll, got more to come. We'll break that. Oh, so, fuck we're getting there. <laughs> we're getting there. I could, I, I could see death in his eyes now. A couple months ago, I saw life. Now I'm starting to see death. You think so? Yeah. Justin is just like I, th- I think we. I think Justin's just about done. That was, it was weird. He said he was going to quit at the beginning yeah. of the show. He just looks like <laughs> life. He glossed over that. <laughs> no, I've just been busy this weekend. See what I'm saying? Like, there's no life. <laughs> like, what? You, like, hey, so you like, this. like, I. Like, I got, is this Len you were talking to? Uh, Len, I would kill for Len at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I miss Len. This is Al. <laughs> Len's lame brother, Al. <laughs> who Len's embarrassed about. Al Trudeau. <laughs> no, Trudeau. What the hell's your last name? Trudeau. T- Who's Trudeau? Trudeau. 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 I'd rather have him be here. <laughs> well, he's done less blackface than Justin. Is that true? I don't know about that. I got some tweets this weekend. <laughs> I'll just say. What uh, What else is going on? Uh, did you see uh, your old company got recently got bought up? A lot of their debt got bought up by George Soros. Yeah, I saw that Thursday when it happened. Yes. Yeah, Sunday. <laughs> It's the, the first time since you've done a show. Well, well, I mean, no. That, well, actually, I, I, I mean, is that is that the first story you would do, Mike? Uh, just be honest. Uh, just be uh, honest. Uh, just be uh, honest. I don't have any substitutes. I haven't seen okay. a ton. What do you got, Cole? News going. On. Um, I was watching through some of that. By uh, the way, I think you know the answer is yes when you ask that question, right? Yes, I don't know. If okay. you, no, I didn't see it. Oh, well, George no, Soros. Oh, wow. Thanks. <laughs> wow, who knew? Odyssey dead. Wow, who knew? I didn't know. What's that called? Uh, no, I was watching through some of that uh, Larry Bird on Cut interview uh-huh. this weekend. Yeah. Um, I thought that this was pretty sweet talking about... Uh, you expect this, Mike, or no? <laughs> I certainly I'm didn't... be critical. I'm just, I, just didn't I certainly expect didn't it. expect it to be pretty sweet. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was. He's talking about uh, taking the last shot. Mm-hmm. I always say that if I go out and spend a half hour or 40 minutes before a game and shoot around... That I should have the upper edge on everybody else, the people who don't do it, because I consider myself one of the better shooters in the world. And if it comes down to the last second shot, I would rather be taking that shot because over a period of a whole year, you get in the playoffs, I've probably taken, you know, two or three hundred thousand more shots than one of my teammates. Now, would you want to go to him, or would you want to go to the guy who's taking that many shots over over that course of a year? So I always second. feel. Did we get this taste? What the fuck? A real weird taste in your mouth, just really sweet. 
don't know what it is. I think I don't think that's a coincidence. Was it, was it the sound going into my mouth? <laughs> I think it might have been the audio. You were just here. My God, do it again, Cole. Play again. Right. I always say that if I go out and spin, <sighs> a yum, half yum. Hour oh, hold on. <laughs> wow, I think I'm high. <laughs> I've never heard Larry Bird talk about his confidence in the last minute before of a basketball game. This is a southern gentleman. Where, is he? From, yes. Oh wow, from Indiana. French Lick, as a matter. Of is that right? Yeah. Wow, you still playing? No, no, no. Oh, okay. Well, you're you retire, Coleman. Uh, I'm going to say 94. Not bad. Not pretty bad. close. Not bad. 92. Well, all right. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's I, would, I wouldn't have known either. You're right after the Olympics. <clears throat> well, he's on the dream team, Coleman. Right. Yes. Which Isaiah Thomas was not. He was, he was part of that. Uh, that was the thing with Reggie Miller and Isaiah? That thing? The, oh, um, what the hell are you pointing back at me for? <laughs> you point at me, and I was like, I don't what know. Are you spider? Was no, you. you. Spider me? <laughs> what are you doing? Do you even know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Fucking the, the, rock the interview was him just like talking one on one with like an interviewer. It was, wasn't Isaiah Thomas, Bird, and Reggie Miller from this weekend on TNT? That thing? No, no, no. Oh, okay. This was like a old Larry Bird uncut interview that they finally released the entire. Oh, thing. that one? Yeah, 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 I saw that. Yeah, yeah, I didn't watch that yet. So, yes, there you go. Larry Bird, my hero growing up. Anyway, what else? What else, Justin? Uh, you have any tr interest in Jesus this? Christ? <laughs> what? What? Wake up! <laughs> okay, am I wrong, Mike, or no? <laughs> Justin's getting snippy with you. I'm yeah, noticed. careful. <laughs> like, what? Well, you, you know what I'm saying though? He's kind of like, oh, what? Huh? What? It's like I'm interrupting him. Which I'm surprised by because it seemed like Coleman took most of the shit last week. I don't know why. It seems like Justin got a total. Justin got a total pass. Am I wrong about that, Justin? Yeah, no, I, I think I should have should have stuck up for Coleman more. Yeah, what happened there? I, I just. I, Why are you a man of low character? I'm not a man of low character. <laughs> well, I understand. I should have. Are you the American? I am the aren't American. You, aren't you, don't you believe in the military? Uh, to a point. Oh, okay. Yeah. What well, if they attacked us in this country? Then you believe in the military? Hell yeah. Well, it depends. Like, I believe in what the military people, not necessarily the complex of the military. Ah. What, if, what if Iran landed and started attacking us? Would you want the military to step in then or no? Yes. Okay. Okay. You don't feel like you defended Coleman enough. What was your defense? Let me hear it. Uh, I just I felt like in that moment I should have I should have taken more heat. I should have said something instead of just staying quiet. Okay. Okay. Go. What were you gonna say? Story wise. Oh, story wise. <sighs> uh, you have an interest in this Patriots <laughs> documentary? <laughs> this is a weird energy. Yeah, more from Justin. <laughs> say Coleman seems fine. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's going on, Justin? Let's break this down. What's going on? Are you are you at some crossroads here or no? Not any crossroads. Are you sure about that? Because you can just tell me, and then we can talk it out. I'd prefer you tell me the truth. Um, I don't think we're at crossroads. I think we should communicate better. Ooh. Who's um, we? Like us as a as a show. Okay. In what way? What, how am I failing you in that? In that um, I think one of the downfalls of last week of the audio wise was that if me or Coleman went to Chicago, okay, I don't want that. Okay. Well. That, okay, so, so uh -huh. that's not going to happen. Well, we just won't do shows. I mean, like I said, I'm there. We just won't do shows. It's easy. That way, it's easy. No big deal. Okay. Don't worry about. Don't like. Don't worry about that. That relieve yourself if that's an issue. Okay. Of that, don't relieve yourself. You know, urinate your pants. I'm saying, just <laughs> like, don't worry about it. That not a big deal. I've been okay. fine on texting you guys this weekend, though. No? Yeah. No. Everything's fine. It's fine. We move on. It happened. You know. Uh, I mean, do you want me to commu communicate better since then this weekend? Uh, no, I think I think since this weekend, but also like beforehand. So with the um, with the Thursday, with the you were yelling at Coleman, like you can't say it's the three streams, it's the three streams. I felt like part of partially that was on me because I didn't upgrade the internet. Well, that's not a communication issue, I don't think. Yeah, this is, you just said let's let's air air everything. Okay, so, I thought I thought this is not part of the communication thing, or is it? Uh, a little bit. Because, okay, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah go ahead. Go because ahead. Uh, you said at that point when I was like. We're paying three hundred and thirty dollars uh -huh. for internet. You were like, "That's a lot. That's a lot." So well, I did. That's, well, that's why you said it, right? Yes. So right. I didn't upgrade the internet at that time because uh -huh. uh, you also said you just at that point you just didn't care about the YouTube. Right. Okay. So I I didn't upgrade the internet, and then these, this past couple of days I upgraded the internet. So now we're paying more. You, but you didn't tell me you were going to do that. No. Okay. I, so I, when you say we're paying more, how how, how much are you paying out of that? Uh, I'm not paying anything. Okay. How much is Coleman? Um, I don't think how I much think. is Mike? Don't think anything. How I'm much? actually getting screwed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How much is the guy at the airport in Canarado with the diner there? I don't think he. Okay. How much am I? Uh, it's like four hundred fifty bucks a month. Yes. Okay. So it's crazy. Six thousand dollars a year. Just about. fifty. Okay. I'm now paying that. More? You're saying? No, not more. How it's much just, was before? 
It was a little less than 300. I thought you said it was 330 just now. Okay, so I'm paying extra a couple thousand bucks a year. Yes. And you didn't tell me you were going to do that. Uh, when you texted on Friday and said, figure it out or your okay. job's on the line. You okay, just, no, 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 I said you'd be fired. Yes. So you didn't, okay, so you, but you didn't tell me you're, I'm now paying a couple thousand dollars more, which I would have done, but like, so would you say there's a lack of communication? It I, does, it, it feels like someone should have communicated to me that that was yes, going to happen. Yes, 100%, yeah. I think communication on <laughs> all fronts should be better. Well, don't spend my money without telling me, though. I would have signed off on it, but that's that's a couple of thousand bucks. Okay. Does that make sense to you or yes, no? Yes, no. Okay. What else? It's Patriots Dynasty. <laughs> People think I harp on these guys, but it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know, I'm just saying. Like, it's like If it works, great, but just tell me. Uh, no? I, I don't know. Am I wrong, Mike? Uh... <laughs> I'm guessing maybe he didn't want to keep texting you. Should I do this? Should I do that? I get any text like that. Not one. Not one. Am I wrong? Am I crazy? Is that a wild price to be paying for internet? I think so. But I, I, to be fair, I don't know that. I have I, no idea. I, I don't either because I'm judging off my like home. Correct. Wifi. I have no idea. So is that crazy or no? Uh, it's pretty crazy, but it's also that like. It's the only option we have. We, it, yeah, exactly. Well, why? Like, I, I, I don't, I'm, I'm not asking this like combatively. I'm just saying I don't know. Why is that the only option? It's because the internet that Verizon offers here is like 120th of the speed. Why? It just because this is such a bad spot? It's just. And those are the only two. Like, right, so in, I mean, in, in, uh, okay. I, mean I, I would just keep looking because the lease will be up in <laughs> June, right? We have a one year lease. So I'd like to get out. I want to get out of here a couple of years ago. <clears throat> Dave and I tried. Maybe it was a year ago. Couldn't do it. So maybe we should start looking. I'm saying if the rent's, you know, whatever, a, a little more, so what? It's a wash. If the, with the, I mean, the internet would be way cheaper, right? Maybe. Depends on location, but yeah. Depends on well, whether I mean, it's a business or a, a personal space. In what way? Like if this is like a business, you have to get business internet here. Right. But if you get like a, someplace else. Like where? I don't know. Okay. Okay. Fiber potentially is right. what I've heard. So <clears> I'm looking into that. What else, Colin? Um, what did I have? Oh, the uh, Colin story that we were talking about. So we had this uh, previous Yeah, so Colin story? had a story before about basically how his dad, how he wished he could help his dad die in assisted suicide. This is from 2017. I don't even know if it's true or not with him. But he wrote a story about dying being a choice and how his dad was, you know, like uh, uh, when dying is a choice, Kevin Cullen, 2017. Kevin Cullen helped somebody die. Mm-hmm. It was cold, but the sun was shining when my father looked out the window and said he wanted to die. <laughs> it was 2017. Right? It was before we got him. That's an odd comment on a sunny day. Yes. You know? Sun was shining. Uh, he was lying in the hospital bed, tubes tying him to machines and drips. He was 65. And like a lot of firefighters, had inhaled things and embedded in his lungs, slowly strangling them. His skin was ashen. His eyes wet and hauntingly sad. When he said he wanted to die, my immediate reaction was to reassure him, to hold his hand, to tell him my brother, mother, sister, and I didn't want him to go. Uh, and then he's basically saying he wishes he had the option to do that. So you have a guy who's on the record like five years before, six years before, saying he's all for it, writing a story. It's just so nuts. It's yeah. crazy. I'm sure the Globe has no idea, but yeah. I thought it was weird that he, the last line was, but rest assured, I'll get someone someday. Yeah, I mean, it's just, <laughs> it's just crazy. That, that felt ominous. Just crazy. <laughs> But, I mean, I guess they don't, you know, I, mean, I, I don't know. I guess they just don't, uh, I guess they just don't care. I, I mean, because, I mean, obviously, like anything else, that, that story is now gone. Is there, did they, yeah, they never made a statement about it or anything? Cause no. Because it was, they, they, it was they, debated they, outside, they, remember the whatever yeah. clip we played. Like, they were, de there were debates in that world about it. Correct. But it just didn't really, I think they did the thing where, like, they're like, let's just, I just text you guys a number, let's call it. They, uh. They, I think they were like, as always, let's just let it go. And then he hasn't written since, which I think, find interesting. Sure. Or at least as of yesterday, I was last I checked, maybe he wrote today. But that's, I feel like with him, that's kind of, the pattern has kind of been, he does, he writes once every That is true. Six <clears throat> yeah, months right, 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 right. That is true. Um, But, you know, like the other thing in that Washington Post story they wrote about was they said that the Globe had no idea when he submitted the story that he did this. Right. They had no idea. So, like, that's fireable just normally i don't know you have the number yes all right i'll give it a call i don't know if it's the right number or not <clears throat> hello 
Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. Mm. The time to reach is not available. Mm. At the tone, please record your message. Leave your message. I think that's Cole's number, but uh, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I thought that the uh, the tail end of that article almost felt like a bit of a, like a fetish, fetish, bleh, fetishization. Mm -hmm. I can't even say that right. But where he said not long after Al Lipkin died in 2009, Kafka watched helplessly as the same disease that slowly and torturously killed my dad did the same to his father. I watched him gasp for breath. And it's almost like he wanted to... Yeah, I mean, clearly is a... Be the force behind <clears throat> That's the thing. You should have left a message and just said, Kev, help me. <laughs> <laughs> Put me out of my misery. He has an agenda. So, I mean, like, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter. The Globe is not a paper. It's not like a real... So, they're just going to let this happen, I guess. But just whatever. I mean, but yeah, it's just crazy. To me. It's still crazy. I feel like that was an underreported story. It's cool that he kind of did become a vigilante. At the end he of did. You made fun of him for all those. But <laughs> he he's, did. He's truly giving people what they want. Yeah, when was that, when was that story? So, he hasn't written since... Two weeks ago? Three? Maybe I feel like it was longer. You might be right. I think it was Kevin 20th. Cullen reports his bio in the, the Globe. Kevin Cullen reported. To quote Johnny Cash. 26th. It used to say, to quote Johnny Cash, I've been everywhere, man. Now it says, to quote Johnny Cash, Kevin Cullen has been everywhere, man. How? Weird. That doesn't. That's not. That's a Johnny Cash quote. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. That's what I'm saying. Even even his bio is misattributed. <laughs> Look at that, my friend Kevin Cullen here tonight. <laughs> uh, dying on Lydia's terms, January 26th. So you're coming up on the month. But you're right. The one before that was December 29th. They wrote three times. He's not writing a lot. Oh, he walks the line. He does. He wrote. I mean, not to be. He wrote uh, four or five times in November. So I, I, I wonder if this is like a quiet suspension. That That's what I was wondering. Because the last time it was a suspension, right? Like a full-on indefinite maybe answer, suspension. Maybe if I call. Let's see. I doubt it. That seems less likely. I don't think he knows my number. I've only talked to him once. It was in the middle of it. And he claimed his son was in the hospital. In the middle of it. And it was just bullshit. He said his son was in the hospital. He couldn't talk to me and Jerry. Your call has been yeah. forwarded to voicemail. That was too quick. Yeah, he sent that. Huh? That's that, too quick. That wasn't though. a ring, ring, ring. Oh, he's answering? No one answers. Yeah. That was a <clears throat> deny. Okay. Well, Bastard. I don't know. That was really his number, by the way. I don't know. So, yeah. <clears throat> Keep an eye on that. I don't know. Uh, uh, I would just like to talk, but this is how it works. Like, I'd like to talk to somebody about it. Be like, what? is there anything about, like, you know, is there any punishment for this? But It's weird that no one there <laughs> will talk to you publicly, really. Well, not you know, it is. The, yes, the Boston Globe. Yeah, because yeah, but do these number I sent it to you before. <clears throat> I could do yes. I call her back. Call her in the bank. She's got nothing to do. You'd think there'd be some figure there that was kind of above, like Shaughnessy. They couldn't tell what to do. <laughs> I can't think of a better example, but like someone that they can't really tell what to do that is even on their side. But right, your call has been. Oh, call me. Come on, you're better than that. <laughs> that was that was a one ring. She's. <laughs> <clears throat> the only guy who talked to me was Mark Shanahan. Remember, I pretended that was that was Joe Rogan or something. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, he I was, forgot about that one. He was like Kirk Cut it out. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> He's a good guy. Yeah. Um, I mean, there are people that go by like I like Chris Gasper. I like Alex. Sure. That's about it. I will say Chad Finn. Like, not writing with Jack Edwards is wild. Oh like, right. I mean, like he can't speak. I like a couple people text me and with. They kind of know what's going on with Jack, and I feel bad. I like Jack, but like that's your job. You're a media critic. Yeah, like this guy can't speak, and he's the fucking play-by-play -play guy for the Bruins. I'm not saying you have to say what's wrong with him, but like it is. Like I feel bad for Jack, but it's his job to speak into a microphone. Like sure. if I wasn't talking normally, like the other day after the thirty out, like you have to have somebody address it. it. Seems very odd. It's a disservice to the to the people. Like people pay for Nesson. It's weird. Or even just when like those instances where people have like a stroke on air and they just talk like right. it's it's talked about. Obviously it's a health issue, so it's a serious thing. But like that stuff's talked about. Yeah, yeah for the sure. videos are played and everything. For sure. Or just oh the Apple thing on the Patriots. Yeah, the dynasty. I mean, fucking. I mean, look. I like these guys, but it's craft like produced. So just it's just it's terrible. Yeah. Terrible. I haven't seen it yet, but I've just heard Terrible. it's just... Absolutely. It totally changes history. Total bullshit. Like, I'm a Belichick guy now. I'm starting to not like the crafts, which I hate because they're, they're, they've been nice to me. I, I, I like the crafts. <clears throat> Excuse me, I can't get this out of my throat. But they... Uh, I mean, they're just twisting history when you watch it now. It's crazy. And by the way, I like Drew Bledsoe a lot uh, when he was here. 
But they make about like he was like fucking Dan Marino and John Elway. It's like he was not. <laughs> a couple of things. The other thing is that, the, first of all, when you know it's bad, about two or three minutes and they have a couple of fans. Of course, the same is one guy who's painted and he has the silver Patriot thing on. He's dressed up at games. The other one's like an old fan. It's the same old thing. Like, yeah, before the Crafts got here, we fucking sucked. Yeah. Which, or before Brady got there, which is not true. Like, they were in the Super Bowl in 85. They were in the playoffs the next year. They were good with Chuck Fairbanks. They had some terrible years at the end of the 80s, beginning of the 90s. No question. Yeah. The I mean, ownership were- was terrible. But, you know, before Brady got there with Parcells and Bledsoe, they went to the playoffs twice. With Carroll, they went to the playoffs twice. Like, oh, this did was- they, I was going to say, wasn't Pete Carroll bad? And then they the went like 5-11 with The first Alex two years, they went to the playoffs. I didn't realize it. He went 10. So they, they did this. Parcells went 11-5. to five, They went to the Super Bowl. 10-6, and 9-7, and 8-8 eight eight with Carroll. But the, those first two years, they made the playoffs. First year, they won a playoff game. Uh, <clears throat> and then Belichick's first year was terrible. They were 5-13 and 13 with, with, before Brady got there. Yeah. But like, and then two minutes in, they bring in the ultimate fucking killer. When Bill Burr shows up and he does the whole like, <laughs> yeah, when I grew up, like, you know, you get seats for $5. I'm like, oh. Why, why do you do this? <laughs> he a fucking guy. stinks. There's not a comedian under 60 that he you enjoy. fucking <laughs> stinks. <laughs> stinks. Not, they bring him in like a little, I like, it's, like a little it. craft it's a great lap dog. And it's like, oh, what do you think of transgender, Bill? What's your fresh <laughs> take, Bill? <laughs> what? How did what that fit into the doc? And kisses. What's that? Miss Peaches just oh, wants scratches and kisses. What does that have to do with anything? So like a lap dog. Oh, okay. Whatever. Kind of works. <laughs> Wait, that's Portnoy? Oh, yeah. yeah. He loves Miss Peaches. Good God. Is it Miss Peaches? What <laughs> that do with Miss Peaches? <laughs> he, does, he has the safety net of saying that, that that dog gets more views than whatever the, whatever he said. The that's, the other thing on, on the, uh, <clears throat> that's the other thing I'm making in the fans. When Portnoy's like, yeah, it gets more views than anything. I'm like, well, A, no shit. Like, Portnoy has like 5 million followers. Of course it does. Right. And the other guys in the... Uh, um, Mike and the fans are like, yeah, it's true. It's true. I'm like, well, no shit, it's true. So what? doesn't mean it's like... It doesn't make it less douchey. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> yeah. what do I care? It's definitely true, but yeah. so this fucking Khloe Kardashian. Like, oh, so what? <laughs> I never understood. So what? Like, I never understand that argument. Great. It has more views. So what? Uh, yeah, I know, I know. But yeah, he loves Miss Peaches. Well, good for him. Yeah, Miss Peaches can't walk down the stairs. She's She's got a lot going. She can't swim. There's a lot going on. She's a pit bull. She's going to fucking... Eat somebody's face off one day, but that'll be mm. that'll be good for the show. Those are scary. What's that? Got to watch out for pit bulls. That's a pit bull who's been fighting, right? Too or no? Uh, no, she was bred. She oh, was pretty okay. much like raped. Yeah. Oh, okay. All That's right. why her nipples are all like raped by who? By probably other dogs. You oh, hope, you hope at least. Yeah, Mike doesn't think that happens. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr. show me Peach, proof, Peach, Dave. Yeah. For it. Uh, <laughs> no, that's too bad. It's very sad. I, I, I do like that you rescued the dog, but yeah, I'm a little, uh, Miss Peaches, I think, is a little, yeah, I'm a little Miss Peaches out. I, I have a, uh, dra- I guess, unnamed show related question. Sure. Go ahead. Uh, they said something, Portnoy said something to Whitney about how uh, DraftKings doesn't do a lot of like hockey gambling is like nothing. Like people don't gamble hockey. Smaller than, say, football, sure. Wouldn't that be. The reason the spin chicklets guy should do gambling shit? I guess, but I think he's just saying it doesn't even really matter if they try it. But that just seems like the opposite of... like I would think that would be areas they'd want to... I guess they, unless they say there's no chance anyone ever gambles hockey. I guess. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, if you compare it to football, like everything's going to lose. So, yeah, I don't know. Right. I, and my other argument would be, aren't people going to gamble football anyways? As opposed to like, they might be like, ah, shit, let me throw some money on the Maybe. Kings tonight. Well, I'm excited to announce our partnership at DraftKings Sportsbook. DraftKings will be our new stop, our one-stop shop, there you go, for all things betting. This week, new customers who deposit $5 or more can a no-sweat bet up to $1,000 in any sport. Uh, uh, you can follow up with all your favorite DraftKings, uh, rather Barstool personalities who are betting on by joining the Barstool betting group on the DraftKings Sportsbook app. Download that app right now, the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now. Use my name, K-I-R-K. New customers can get a no-sweat bet for up to $1,000. If your first bet loses, only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code K-I-R-K. The crown is yours. Our partnership with DraftKings goes on as we speak. Code Kirk at the DraftKings Sportsbook app. And, uh, up to $1,000 if your first bet loses. So go do that. What else? <coughs> I saw it today. It was the... Uh one year anniversary of Jimmy Carter being in hospice. I saw that. Too bad for you guys, huh? Well, the teacher <laughs> who, bastards hanging on. Yeah. The teacher who like said all this about the Jimmy Carter party mm-hmm. died last week. Oh, he did. Oh, he, no, no. He didn't survive Jimmy Carter. How this, old was he? He was like ah uh, like 60. What he died in 60s. All I heard was that he had, he got like a tracheotomy. Mm-hmm. So I, I don't really know what that would entail. Maybe some like some kind of throat cancer or something, but Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. 
Karma. It'd be great. It'd be great to find out Jimmy Carter went to the funeral and just leaned over the Shot casket. Him. I won. <laughs> Jesus. God. Well, yeah. I know he's been. Yeah, it's a long time uh, for Carter. I think Jimmy Carter wants to make it to 100. That's what I think. Well. Yeah. He doesn't have much control. Uh, he's pretty close, I think, now, though, right? Jimmy. I think he's 99. I think he's 99. Yeah. When's, uh, when's Turns the Turns 100 day? October 1st. He's got Oof. a 50 50 chance, I'd say, right, at this age? Yeah, that's a long eight months or whatever it is. I don't know, I don't know what kind of hospice he's in. Like, I don't know if it means, you know what I mean? I don't know if he's like, obviously, it's not super close, although he could die during the show. I don't know. Sure. I don't know. I well, hope not. And, that, and based on this show's history, now he probably will. Uh, yes. It, well, yeah. That's never the ones you expect. That's true. It's not? We've never been like, oh, so and so like, is close to dying, and then they die. It's always yeah. like, it'll be George Soros. That's true. Yeah, you hear about him? <laughs> The um yes so yeah, any updates on that guest? Uh, I got their uh, agent's number, so I'm going to reach out this week. You got their agent's okay? Yeah, so I'm okay. looking into it. Okay, good. <clears throat> I just want to get uh, I just want to get me the March Madness of my Huskies. That's all I care about. Yeah. UConn. Oh, I watched that Marquette game dominated. Texting back and forth with Jeff D. Lowe, texting with Coach Hurley after the game. Do you mm. think Hurley's a big Mutt fan being a UConn No, he's not. Guy. No, no. He, I, could not, I don't you think I know he's not. Yeah, no, yeah. no, no. I know he's not. Okay. Yeah. I talked to Mutt the other day. Two <coughs> EI notes. I talked to Mutt the other day. And I was like, I'm really bummed out. He's like, I almost flew to Chicago for that game. Like, you have no money. You have no job. <laughs> that was a blowout against this terrible team. Like, what are you doing? When he says almost. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Get himself a soft pretzel. The Sweet 16 is in Boston. Oh, oh, is that right? Year. Yeah. yeah. So my guy's going to hook us up, Coleman? I'll reach out, see right, what good. he can do. Good. But he good. seems interested to helping out you with whatever you need. So Big high up at UConn, Mike. Uh, the other thing is, I talked to Ordway the other day. Oh. Ordway is like suddenly very into the, like the Miniverse. <laughs> really? Yeah. He's like, he's like, he's talking. He's like, you know, I, he's like, I don't know. The men are, he's talking about men are, and he's like, he's like, I'll tell you what, Kirk, the only guy on the Minute Fan Network, who's got a good voice, is that guy in, in, in Pennsylvania and in Scranton. But he's on drugs. He was, like, oh. <laughs> he was like very into it. Glenn Wood was a John and Scranton guy? <laughs> it's his voice, yeah. He's like, he's like, he's like, nobody's got a good voice except for that guy in Pennsylvania. <laughs> really? Yes, he was very into like the comings and goings. And uh, he's going to be back. He's in Arizona. He's going to be back in town in June and July. He's going to come in studio and do a show. Oh, wow. That'd be nice. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll be good. Yeah. <clears throat> but he's very, like, he's, he's doing, he's doing a thing where he's like, yeah, I kind of check out once, but he's like clearly into it. That's which funny. I found very funny. The classic <laughs> Lennox. He's like, Kirk, you know what you've done is you've built this sort of this, this world of your own. I'm like, have I, Glenn? It sustains itself. Yeah, it's, it's like just, one show leads into the yeah, next. It's very funny. <laughs> but he, he is always oh, down on Coleman and Justin. But yeah. Oh, no. Both of them. Do you know what that is, Coleman, or no? Oh, but I, yeah. it's just another one on the list. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just hate that anyone doesn't. I have like a legendary that. EI host, a little older. He's almost like the Francesa of Boston. Oh, like, great. That's fair, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I actually referenced him the other day because I said that uh, we were talking about that Gary Del Bate, the mic that he has. Yeah. It was worse. Oh, the, I said, I think Ordway did that with the producers where their mics were worse for a Probably, time. or it was just shitty. Like, <laughs> Maybe, you know. yeah. Intercom. But yeah, it was pretty funny. What else? Is there any, uh, I know last week you weren't able to do it because Riggs was all over the place. Any update on the uh, golf gambling show? Uh, yeah, we're going to do it. I just actually don't know if this week because I'll be traveling. So I doubt this week. Um, but I would say the week after is probably a safe bet, I think, if he wants to do it. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, we'll see. I don't know. I feel like post Cullinane, Riggs has drifted away. Am I wrong in that? Oh, uh, he. I mean, he texts me about the show. Oh, he does. Yeah, yeah, okay. he's into it. So You've yeah, heard about him as much. Yeah, I think I, I only knows these guys really. So yeah, gotta tell you, Robert Downey Jr. won Best Supporting Actor at the BAFTAs today, mm -hmm. which is a precursor. He's gonna win the Oscar. Oh yeah, I heard Jeff say that. What are the? I don't know if I know the BAFTAs. It's 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 like uh, uh, London, basically. It's like okay. British. Because I've always heard it's like, like the, the British Academy Awards. Didn't they used to say the Golden Globes were like the? Prediction yeah, sort of. But they were always split in half with the comedy and the okay. drama. So the SAG is actually the best for, but. Let me give another speech today where he's like, I'd be curious for Justin's take on it. Semi-curious. He, he gave a speech again today where he did this whole like, you know, for years I just, uh, 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 what the hell's Iron Man's name? Um, Tony Stark. Tony. It's like for 12 years I was just playing some guy named Tony and like I was kind of down in my career. Chris Nolan revived me. Yeah. Like shut the fuck up with that attitude. I wonder if... Uh, return, return the money. Yeah. Return <laughs> the money. Hey, paid for. We know this guy. We know all these guys. You, you, if you put a gun to your head, Justin, is he playing Tony Stark again in his life? Garen uh, for, fucking 
One million percent yes. For the price they're going to pay him <laughs> yeah. over fucking... They have 75 million to do a movie, probably. They, 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 what's in the movie they're going to do? They're, it's already lined up. Uh, the Avengers Kang Dynasty or whatever? Oh, whatever it is, right. Well, obviously not with that Kang guy. Yeah. But, who, but like... <laughs> But, like, he's going to be back at some point. They all come back. Oh, they're already talking about Harrison Ford used to say this forever. Oh, I'll never. He came back. Mark Hamill comes back. They all come back. Sylvester so Stallone plays Rambo again. Like, this is Tom Cruise. If something's successful and people want to see it, they always come back. And, you know, except for Oppenheimer, he was great. He's done nothing else. And, like, you know, return the money. That's it. And, by the way, you were, your career was in the shitter before uh, oh, they revived him. Iron Man. Like, they had to take out... Favreau directed the first movie. They had to take a huge insurance policy on him. Right. Or they couldn't get insured, I think, is what it was. So, I mean, like, shut the fuck up. Like, I get it. Like, it's not the same as Oppenheimer or whatever. But, like, you took those checks. You were in those movies. No gun to your head. Like, I, I hate that attitude. I fucking But hate that it. was his career revival. Revival. Like, what? That was the Iron Man. Oh, the definitely. Iron Man. Not even close. So, that's what he's saying. Oppenheimer is, like, revival. Well, he's career. saying his quote was... He's back in the act, serious acting now. Yeah, and it's like, well, then you know, you could have just not done it. I, I, I hate that shit. Let me see. I, uh, I played a guy named Tony in the MCU for about twelve years, and then recently, Chris Nolan suggested I attempt an understated approach as a last ditch effort to resurrect my dwindling credibility. Interesting. Like I don't know where was Doolittle? You did that, Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> uh, like, did he, did you he know, not have credibility? Where people like he's a bad actor because he's a Marvel? Movie? No, I think I think people said. Like there was sort of like, hey, look, he took the money. Yeah. But so what? Like I, I don't begrudge him for that. Like he was, he had no, you know, he never had a big. He was obviously a prominent actor, but he never made like a ton of money. Oh, he was smart with a lot of that. Didn't he get like points on the? In a lot I of bet you movies? he made from when he signed the first Iron Man to the last one was Endgame, right? He was in. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna guess he made north of three hundred million dollars. <laughs> yeah, uh, five hundred maybe. No, according to this, he made four hundred and thirty-five yeah, right. million dollars. Do you know how much he was paid for uh, Oppenheimer? Uh, probably nothing, I would think. It's four. Yeah, like four million dollars. But, but I get like if you're if you're down, you do Oppenheimer for free if you have the chance to do that. Like that sure. that makes sense. But like you know, do little. He probably by the way, it's the without that's four hundred thirty-five million for the uh, uh, Marvel movies. Yes. Correct. If let me just say this: if the first Iron Man bombed, do you think he gets a Sherlock Holmes franchise? No. Nah, I'm gonna say no. How much do you think he made off that? Fifty million, probably like forty-five or something. How much do you think he made for Doolittle? Twenty million. So he made five hundred million dollars basically off this thing. Yeah. So shut the fuck. Like again, I don't really care, but I hate that where it's like, oh, I was so embarrassed. Of, well, why? Like why? And you think he's gonna be in a Marvel movie again? But I gotta tell you, I think they're doing quite fine without him. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I saw mean, a little film this weekend. <laughs> I mean, I mean, he'll definitely be back. Yeah, he made $15 million for 2011 Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows. And he also made $12 million for Due Date. Right. Yeah, he did so a movie with Galifianakis. Wow, right. he got $12 million for that? Right. And that's Galifianakis well, like, coming off that, that's, that's, just that's, redid. That's, that's a Todd Phillips Galifianakis movie. Yeah. I mean, that's a huge comedy. Well, it's a that. Steve Martin, John Candy movie. Oh, yeah, so. definitely. <laughs> but, like, but that was a big project. Yeah. And by the way, like, here's the other thing. Like, Downey, without Downey being good in Iron Man, there's no Marvel. Like, he he was great. He deserves everything he got. I'm not saying he, des he deserves probably three times as much. He was that He's that important. Yeah. But, like, don't bitch about it. I That's what I hate. I hate when they, oh. even Dakota Johnson, she's on the press, and she's kind of like rolling her eyes. It's like, well, you read the script, you signed it, and return the check. Yeah. They're in a weird place where they want the approval of the, like, Scorsese's who say, like, oh, that's not real cinema. Right, don't do them. Right. Like, don't, you know, like, you know, I, I don't know. What was the... What is your third favorite Leonardo DiCaprio Marvel movie? Wait, what? How about your second favorite? Okay. How about your first <laughs> favorite? Right. He doesn't do them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he chooses not to do them. You can choose not to do them. Or you could be like Mar Mark Ruffalo, who played the Hulk, just got nominated for another Oscar. Like, yeah. you know, he isn't, he didn't hide, like, he did Spotlight during uh, the Marvel movies. Yeah. He did, uh, you know, like, he does these other movies. So, I mean, Downey could have done that, but Downey chose... Do movies like The Judge with Robert Duvall. Like that I was a serious that, movie. I didn't think that was that bad. <laughs> it's, born for, it's for stupid people. How about it? But it's like, but, but it's like I don't like when me and Coleman are on the same page. <laughs> hey, but, hey, but, <laughs> but what I'm saying is it's like nice entertainment, but it's not like a big chance. Sure. By the way, he, pro he probably got, look that up, I bet you got 15 million for that. Yeah. You know, it's like, you know. And uh, am I wrong? Tropic Thunder was after Iron Man, right? Yes, but it was early, right? It was like right after. Maybe right after. I don't know. Right. Maybe that's not why he got it, but. I could see him getting that anyway. <clears throat> and he's spectacularly... Robert Downey Amazing. Jr. is a great actor. Yeah, like, yeah. There's no... Like, did he get probably stale be playing Iron Man? Sure. 10 million from the judge. Yeah, 10 million. <laughs> he produced it too, I think. He probably made more. 
Yeah, more for I mean, he's made over half a billion dollars playing Tony Stark, and he deserves it. But my thing is just don't run away. Like, so I've always liked about Stallone. He's been like, yeah, no, I love Rocky. I mean, he won the Golden Globe at the end. He's like, I want to thank my good friend Rocky Balboa. And some people may think that's corny. It is, but I don't give a shit. But to be fair, he wrote, he wrote it. it. Yeah. yeah, he created it. But so what? But like, he hasn't run away from it. He has no. at times oh. when he comes back. But that, that's like Robert, his baby. Where Robert Downey Jr. Thing. is going to play Iron Man again. And so will Chris Evans. He'll be back and they'll all be back and they have to do something as a project together. And I'm going to guess Robert Downey Jr. will be embarrassed, but I'm going to guess he'll probably get paid for it. He won't cash the checks, though. Probably f for the, probably $60, 70000000 million to bring him back for that. <laughs> After everything, like profit-wise and everything. For Endgame, he made, And by the way, it'll be a steal. Like I, It's a great business move. What's that? For Endgame, he made $75 million. It, so. A steal. I mean, we made $2 billion worldwide, right? Yeah, so they'll probably... And they've been in a slump, too, so they'll pay to, out the ass to get this. He'll have to wait a little bit. But it doesn't have to be now. You know, he could do it in 10 years when he's... I mean, Harrison Ford was how old in The Force Awakens? In his late 70s? Yeah. <clears throat> he, just played, he just played Indiana Jones last year. Yeah. Like, the, it, Robert Downey Jr. is going to play Iron Man in, like, 25 years. He's going to play <laughs> old Iron Man, like, teaching young Iron Man. <laughs> I kind of want to see that yeah. movie. <laughs> That's what people... And uh, to, to be fair to him... When people are like, oh, you know, these old guys never played roles like that. Well, they didn't exist. Robert Downey, uh, fucking Robert De Niro has been in Rocky and Bullwinkle. Yeah. You know, he, believe me, in the old days, he would have done Avengers movies. Oh, and I mean, De Niro's done stuff just as different. Of course, yeah. <laughs> um, now, I will say De Niro in his prime, in his 30s and 40s, probably wouldn't have done those movies. No. But, but he, like, grudge match might as well be him right, being right. like, I'm Jake totally. LaMotta again. <laughs> Analyze that as not a, you know, it's not a great risk, uh, you know, as an actor. Sure. Uh, but some of them have done it, by the way. Redford was in one of the civil was one of the, it was in Civil War, right? Was Robert Redford in that, or which one was he I in? Believe so. He was in the one I really liked. It was actually a good one, one of the Captain Americas. But like these, Tommy Lee Jones has done like you know Bourne movies. Like these guys will do shit like that. Yeah, right? Robert Redford plays a uh, like a senator. Yeah, he's great in that. He's great. Winter but, Soldier and Winter Soldier. Game, yeah, think, yeah, yeah, Winter Soldier is a great movie. It's a great. That's the other thing. Like, is some of these Marvel movies are actually great movies? This is where oh, I disagree totally. with Scorsese. Like, some of them are great movies. Some stink. But some of them were great movies. I mean, Scorsese directed Shutter Island, so it's like, yeah. believe me, you know. Well, even the one that Madam Web, I, it was not a great movie. Terrible. But I don't sure. think it was trying. I mean, maybe they, it doesn't seem like they were trying to be. No, but like, like, that felt like a movie I would have seen in theaters 20 years ago when I was a kid. Like the last yeah. Spider-Man movie, that, the cartoon that came out this summer, is a, was a legitimately, it was a legitimately great film. It's a great, like, I, people are afraid to say that. I don't know why. It's a great film. Mm. So, you know. Um, I wanted to thought on that. Today's the anniversary of the, I saw a uh, Radio Watch tweet of the release of King of Comedy, by the way. Oh, really? Probably 42 years ago today. One of my favorite characters ever. <sighs> one of the greatest. One of the greatest. What else, Justin? What else, JT? You see, uh, so Donald Trump is being sued for $355 million. Here we go, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I've been staying yeah. away from politics. You buy those sneakers yet like an idiot? <laughs> oh, no? we're getting there. That's you got queuing on up in the other browser. I'm ready to go. <laughs> is he actually, at a live show? What is that? I actually listened to the, that Mick episode. Was it last week? Yeah. He fucking sounded crazy during that. Oh, Jesus, yeah. he was all over the place. And then Menders Kim was a pussy. I give him credit, but yeah. What about Trump? Uh, so his his supporters have actually started the GoFundMe. Oh, good. To pay <laughs> the 300. Would you like good. to guess how much they are currently up to? $14,000. No, they are. $4 million. Lower. I don't know how much. 300000 <laughs> Oh, good. That's good. It's <laughs> a good use. Those shoes look so bad. Jesus. Oh, so someone found them and they're like, you can get them like in bulk for i think eleven dollars oh they really just slap a t on it and uh it's just weird to see trump at sneaker con i like that i like that he's he'll, like he'll do anything man this this for this generation's kanye you know he'll do it oh he'll yeah he's he's <laughs> has trump ever been any of the, the marvel movies like before he was cancelable or no no, no. i don't think so just home alone too he's home alone he's a lot of <laughs> stuff elon musk was though Oh, he was? Yeah, he was in uh, Iron Man 2, I believe. Oh, that's right. They didn't erase him yet from this? No. Oh, man. Yeah, I think they're they're working on it, though. Problematic. <laughs> it says GetTrumpSneakers.com in the background. Jesus Christ. What else, Coleman? <laughs> there was a, it just reminded oh, me when Justin had you guess the amount. There was, there was a moment last week where uh, you, Justin was like, guess who did this? Oh, And, yeah, <laughs> and you were like, oh, I don't know. Is it so-and-so? And then you guessed, like, Mutt, me, and Justin's like, a little bigger. Yeah. And you're like, I I don't know. <laughs> I don't like. I'm a big How of, long I'm are we going to do this? Guessing games for fun. <laughs> Jesus. What else? Uh, so the the guy who went to high school with Mutt, he hit me up again during this free throw basketball thing. Who? Uh, the Mutt's high school friend that like let us know that he didn't show up to the reunion. What's oh? 
What? I, I don't know what you're talking about. There's like a mutt guy, basically. Okay, yeah, yeah. He yeah. went to high school with him. <laughs> he was saying that during this free throw thing, uh, that mutt shoots his three-pointers with two hands and not like the traditional, like, normal. He does like a chest like, pass. Like this? Like, yeah. Oh, really? Huh. He said it looked like kind of like poor noise shot. I could see that. He's a little guy. <laughs> He's got a heave. <laughs> Is that interesting, Mike? Not particularly. No, it's not. <laughs> I said it, but I didn't. We're about done here, huh? <laughs> I got some more. Right, what else? Um, <laughs> Just the idea. Like, what if we spent 45 minutes? I mean, sometimes, sometimes something hits in the right spot. That's not it, I don't think. But, hey, you throw enough shit against the wall, it sticks. I suppose. Let so me just tweet. Uh, uh, I'm going to lose it. Penners. I don't know who that is. I think I've seen that account. This is the weirdest energy out of any episode in the five-year history of the show. What is going on? <laughs> That's not inaccurate. I, it's, I feel like the last 10, 15 minutes have not, not the, that was a half hour ago. I think yeah. it's been better when you say or no energy wise. Yeah. It's or no, no. I there's, mean, there's, there's a haze over the room. It's and not this. I room feel fine. I, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I think it's more. It's kind of Justin. Yeah. I think it's more Justin. <laughs> I hate to say it. Yeah. It's kind well, of we're just, getting better. <laughs> he seems like almost dead. I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, everything's fine on my end. We're moving on. What else? Uh, I saw the story that there was a, Guy in Florida uh, who used a child as a human shield. Uh, basically, there was like a group of three guys arguing. He grabs the kid and just guns get pulled, and he starts using the kid as a <laughs> human shield in front of a preschool. Good for uh, him. Good. I don't know. Call my eye. It was very interesting. Mm. What else? Uh, they were having a debate in California about uh, the minimum wage, and one of the state senators had a had a crazy. Okay. Why is that not playing? There you go. Should be able to. Man, oh man, Mike, I don't know. I mean, I don't <laughs> care about the sound, so. I do love. Uh, Jen. Both. Do you love what? Uh, I like reading the main wire in Steve's voice because there was some video maybe similar to this from like some sort of town meeting or something. Yeah. And it was like, uh, it was a woman basically saying, uh, like, identifying as a fat person and saying, I didn't get fat because of soda and candy. Right, right, right. So people should be allowed to buy. But just the headlines are always written as Steve. So I just love reading those in Steve's <laughs> voice. Oh, yeah. The, the, the worst account on Twitter, Anna Horford. Uh, oh, I, th yeah. I think she might have been number one on my list. I forget. Was she number one on my list or no? She, I don't know if she was she number was one. She was up on there. there but she, I don't yeah. think she Probably was, was the worst, I would think. And the show account is terrible, too. Yeah. She tweeted out last night, most people don't realize how much one billion is. Oh. If you make $100,000 a year, it would take you 10,000 years to make a billion dollars. No, period, one, period, should, period, B, period, A, period, billionaire, period. Oh. That includes Beyonce, T-Swift, Rihanna, Elon, Musty, and every other person who exploits the average worker. I would ask her if we ever had her on. How about the billionaires who have given your brother, like, I don't know, <laughs> $200 million to dribble a basketball, which yeah. he's earned. Like, I have no, like, you know, I have no problem. Al Horford should make 10 million, whatever. I don't care. It would also take, ask her to do the calculations on how long it would take me to make the amount that Al Horford makes. <laughs> like he has a skill and the guy who owns the team has either had a father who had skills or he's earned, like, or she have earned money. I don't, how much has Al Horford made? Let, let's, let's go around there. I don't know this. Uh, he's gotten some big contracts. Yeah. I'm, I would guess NBA $45 like million. Dollars. Big too. Oh, no, wait, actually, no, no, more than that. Way more than that. Way more than that. I would say closer to... Because what's a max contract? Uh, which I think he signed one, right? 20-something uh, a year? Oh, now it's like 60. Yeah, he's not making that. Per year? Yep. He's not wow. making that now. Oh, yeah, NBA money's gone completely bonkers, which is, again, no problem. Uh, I'm going to say he's made $268 million in his career. I'll say 140 Oh, no, I'm going to win this one. I'm going to go higher and go like... 550. Okay, no one asked you to play Cole. Go ahead. It's definitely not 550. It is. No fucking chance. As right. of 2024, uh -huh. his net worth is 160 million. Mike, there you go. Yeah. Is that worth? That's what it says. Which side are you on? Sports Kita. All right, I'm going to go to basketballreference.com as his actual salaries. Let me see here. Sports Kita. I'm an idiot. Al Horford reference. Basketball reference uh, gives you his actual salaries, Justin. If you want to look that up, I got it. Right now, Mike's in the lead, though. Show salaries. Not counting this year, he's made $270 million. Okay. Right. He made, with the Celtics, he's made 26, 27, 28, 28. I forgot 27. how good he had some all-star. I forget how good he was. Yeah. 
Like with and the the, there's not counting this year, which is probably another 50. So he's made about 300 million, give or take. Yeah. Like Anna Horford telling me that Al Horford shouldn't make that much money. Like, does he count as well? Dummy? He's like not a billionaire. A, right. Yeah. But I mean, the people who pay him are. Yeah. But if you made $100,000 a year, it'd be a lot quicker to get to what Al Horford has made. You Take 10,000 years. <laughs> yeah, that's right. What's that, Coleman? I saw this uh, over the weekend, maybe even worse than the whole Patriots documentary thing, is that they're filming the Celtics this I don't know, Who year. cares? What is that story? That's what? A, and they're doing it with the Red Sox? Why? Don't, why? why do we give a shit? Justin one, wants the episode where Deuce gets potty trained. <laughs> like, I don't even, like, I, I, like who, who fucking cares? Like, uh, enough. They haven't done anything. That was coach he, is annoying too. He's not like a hard ass. Oh, like it, it could easily just be like an early exit for them in the playoffs. Of course, then what? I mean, I guess maybe that's interesting. I don't know. Is Hard Knocks yeah. successful enough that every sport needs to do this? Well, that's well no, it's Hard Knocks dance like, that started this. No, it's definitely Hard Knocks. No, Hard Knocks is before that. But, but like I, every sport now feels like they have to do, like the PGA Tour has this, the NBA has this, tennis has this. Like they, uh, they had those like like NHL twenty four seven. They were doing for yeah, a while. Boxing's done it. Like it's, yeah. I get it, but it's like. What what am I Paul this boring Celtics team? They're a good team, but they're boring. Like they're boring people. Uh, dreadful, dreadful, dreadful. But yeah, Horvitz an idiot. Anyway, what else? Um, Do you want to hear the sound from this? Uh, no, state I don't. Oh, that's right. Okay, well. <laughs> um, I was wondering about this uh, because when you guys were doing the free throw challenge and like Big Cat got to go home or whatever and like mm-hmm. seeing his son kind of revived him was there any type of feeling when you got back home or just like we at moved, least we moved off on the free throw shit <laughs> alright right. fucking That's week ago <laughs> Jesus Christ so were you revived uh, by yeah I was revived by Harry <laughs> oh, I don't know. Bed, revived you know good to be back in bed <laughs> revived what the hell are you talking about Jesus yeah. give up. I think it's much cornier that Big Cat said that and you were like what inspired by it to, to ask her no question. kidding <laughs> was that Justin uh, so I saw this it, it's a stupid story that Sly Stallone like paid like Navy SEALs to train his daughters before they moved to New York City yeah I saw that um, did you know that is that true about that is that that many years for a billion dollars probably it's like a hundred thousand dollars in a billion I guess it would be do I know what Justin it would be ten for a million well don't worry about that what were you saying about Stallone <laughs> Um, did you know there's a re- he has a reality TV show? The Family Stallone. Yes, I yes never heard of this. Before. Of course, I know that. I haven't watched it, but yeah, I, yes, he does. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, he's been on the he's been he's told the same Carl Weather story like seven different shows. Yeah, uh, same one where he's like, oh, and it's a good story. But I've heard I've been I've heard it for forty years. Where yeah, right. Carl Weathers, they they having a hard time casting Apollo Creed, so he shows up. Carl Weathers, super cocky and sounds like he looks great, fantastic. And it's almost a complete, basically an unknown at that point. So he's ready to like do a scene with him. He's going to do the reading, and 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 Carl looks at him. He's like, "It'd be much easier if I had like a real actor to work with." And Sloan was like, "This is great. This guy's cocky. Basically, like, you're hired." So he's told that story like eight different times. It's a good story, but I'm like, God, I've heard it everywhere. Yeah. Like, do you have anything else? You're in four movies with this guy. <laughs> like anything else? And he really doesn't. So I don't yeah, know. It's a good story though. Yeah. What were you saying, Justin? I just have never heard of the family Stallone before. Yeah, it's, I think it's a coming off for. I, I, yeah, he's got a couple yeah, of cute season daughters. Season two is coming out. Terry yeah. Bradshaw has one. <laughs> That's been on for a while. <clears> That's right, for a while, right? Yeah, or it was on. Maybe it's not on anymore. I, mean, I guess the Osbournes kicked that off, right? Yeah, 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 sure. yeah. Which was a huge show. Oh, yeah. huge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they. You know what's sad is uh, I don't. I don't even know if they still do it, but they did it. They still, like last year they started up a podcast. I did see it's that. Like, We're back. I saw Jack and Ozzy have some road trip show too, where they do yeah. stuff. Oh boy. I think Jack's like skinny now or something. Yep, and yeah. So is the girl, right? They're all they're all very fit. Yeah, and Sharon's weird. And the same, but it's like, yeah, that's twenty five years ago almost. Now. Yeah, it seems like Jack has tried his best to be like, let's fucking get this thing cooking. Again. <laughs> yeah, just not <laughs> no, not landing. Yeah, that could be tough. That could be tough. What else, guys? I don't uh, know if Ozzy's like running his own social media. Or I'm whatever. gonna guess he's not. <laughs> well, that's a wild <laughs> guess that he's not. Well. <laughs> I say this because he came out recently with uh, this Kanye album. Yeah, that yeah happened. he's Kanye or something. And yeah. he had this whole long thing. I was like, I've seen the highlight reels from this Ozzy Osbourne show, fan, yeah. like his family show. The guy can't put together sentences. I think like it's this safe anymore. to say it's not. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think most celebrities, it's not. I mean, it's very rare. I think at this point, that's what what's his face it's does. Bailey right? Carlin. Yeah, Bailey. He's got everybody. Yeah. He's got Edelman. He's got. You know, that's the thing. I, I wanted to defend you. I was so mad at you, but I'm like, I'm saying that I want to say to Dave, like, why, why don't you hate Julian Edelman then? Like Bailey Carlin runs his Twitter account. Well, that's where that's where I always Dave Dave speaks in definitive statements where it's like because Coleman tweeted those things however long ago, 
he is an enemy forever and will never. It's like when he said I, I was going to take down the company. Right. It's like he gets <laughs> stuck on this thing and he can't let it go. And that's how he sees well, Julian it Edelman. I mean, again, I wanted to have this argument. I just hated Coleman so much in that day. Edelman is giving Bailey Coleman money. But he would say Julian Edelman doesn't work for me. I imagine. I guess, but isn't he like a? Isn't he like a friend? Isn't he like a? You know, I guess. Yeah. Well, he's a celebrity, so he's that's, that's true. That's <laughs> yeah, I guess, barely a celebrity, but yeah, I suppose. I'm kind of curious how that works with, uh, like Stephen A. Smith, for example, like an ESPN deal, mm-hmm. like where they have their own social media or whatever, and then have someone else running an individual persona. Right. Like, how does that work? Is it like a separate contract that has to go through? Yeah, ESPN I have no idea. Something? I don't know. I have no clue. No clue. What else? Uh, I thought Tiger Woods died the other day from all the... the Rappaport was all over it. (laughs) So in the ambulance, but Tiger Woods has always been a bit of a drama queen. So he had the... I guess he had the shits, no? That's what it looks like. What did did Rappaport call the ambulance? What did he call it? A paramedic vehicle or something? You you (laughs) know know what ambulance was? So Tiger withdrew and everyone was all worked up and it just turns out he had the shits, I guess. I, I, I don't know. Well, at least he's all right. Yeah, I get You think it was Riggs' question that sent him down that yeah, tailspin? Yes. Yeah, I think we were all disgusted by that. Yeah. But yeah, I, I guess, yeah, it was all over the place and he withdrew and it was like chaos. But I mean, I suppose he's fine. He looked okay when he was playing. He's just so old now. He's, he's jacked and he's so stiff. He's so fucking big. He's enormous. Hmm. He looks like a fucking linebacker. It's crazy. It's weird uh, that he would change his body that much considering that's not how he was when he was successful. Yeah, I mean, he got bigger as he got older, but like never like this. He is... He, enormous so yeah. i'm like what yeah and he looks it's so many surges with his neck and with his with his leg and his back and it's like why are you doing this like it did, i don't know but yeah what are you R- laughing at riggs called it a paramedic truck it, rapaport rapaport or sorry <laughs> rapaport yeah a paramedic truck was it does that was it not an ambulance no it was an ambulance <laughs> was that for tiger sure seems like tiger woods is about to leave riviera in a paramedic truck leave where Riviera, Riviera, yeah, and in, in, in a paramedic truck, paramedic truck, that, and that sounds I like mean, an off-duty paramedic. It does. Swung by, <laughs> yeah, just get in, Tiger. <laughs> Very weird. It looks like an ambulance. Have you ever had to take a trip in an, in an, like an ambulance? Do you remember? Maybe I don't know. What else? <laughs> <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's. Let's go around the room. I'm like, oh, how am I supposed to answer that? Have you? No. You're, yes. What do you avoid? Maybe. Maybe I have. Maybe I haven't. <laughs> Coward. Yeah, maybe I have. I don't want to answer that. I'm not going to answer that question. You're going to have me answer everything. Um, saw this for the first time, but uh, Roadhouse, absolutely awesome. Maybe the most like dudes movie ever. Mm-hmm. And I think that the girl in it. Uh, Kelly Lynch? Yes. Mm-hmm. Maybe one of the best love interests in any movie, and particularly 80s movies. Wow, what a take. She's unbelievably hot. <laughs> She's great. Like, she's unbelievable. Very, she's very interesting. Cocktail, too. She's very attractive. Yeah, never seen hetero he is. What's that? He's all man. What's that, Justin? <laughs> never seen either of those movies. No? Roadhouse or Cocktail. Not to give Oh, any, Cocktail's I, great. Great. <laughs> Fantastic. Don't give anything away. Don't say what the text was, but you do have an assignment before tomorrow. Yes. yes. Are you on that or no? Yeah, I'm already. Halfway, yeah. I'm done. You're done? Yeah. No, have you seen? Did you see those before? I have. Oh, okay. Fan or not a fan? Uh, yeah, fan. Okay. Okay. You, Coleman? Big fan, yeah. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Very interesting. I was interested in that take. <laughs> maybe one of the best of the '80s. Maybe <laughs> potentially. Maybe. Well, I don't. I feel like some of those '80s love interests are just kind of. They have like the short hair thing going on, and sometimes they're like not who? as. Uh, I'm trying like uh, Molly Ringwald. Sometimes, like I, I just don't see it with her. Or like, wow, um, you're just skewering the 1980s. <laughs> I'm Unbelievable. Just, you should have a VH1 down. show. <laughs> Jesus, just okay sometimes. Aye, aye, aye. Someone's like, I'm going to say it. This John Cazale has the best IMDb resume. Yeah, who knew? Of anyone? It's Gene Hackman. Who is this guy? <laughs> Jesus. God. What else, Justin? This is kind of old, but uh, the there was a hockey podcast. So apparently a, a player on the uh, Winnipeg Jets went mm-hmm. away on mental health. How old is this? I think it was last week. Okay. Um, and a player went away to take mental health and a podcast made a joke about it. Mm-hmm. And it was like picked up that like the player like retweeted it yeah. and said like this is not okay, and uh, the podcast is like no longer exists. I have a <laughs> clip here. Oh, okay. I mean, right now it just feels like this team's dead in the water. Fantilli's hurt, Chinkov's hurt, Line's out because he was contemplating a Remington retirement. It's uh, this team fucking sucks to watch. And- that so was a joke. Yeah. So yeah, everyone Remington just kind of yeah. 
like rallied around it and said like this is not okay. No. They ended the podcast. Good. Well, they deleted the Twitter and yeah. It sounds like a pretty bad podcast. Anyway. <laughs> the audio quality is not crazy. Yeah, but geez. Well, I mean, that's just, I mean, you know, nothing new. Oh, I, to be fair, I don't see as much of that anymore. I mean, that, well, the talk now is that it's swinging back the other way. Yeah, like that I was don't a big see, thing. Like when Shane Gillis got SNL, right. that was a big talk. Like I don't see a lot of that anymore. Like, let's take down this podcast. Maybe I'm missing it, but I'm not seeing a lot of that stuff. Well, I, I even saw like when Shane Gillis like was announced back on SNL, like uh, a couple. I think was is retard back trending or something? Like yeah, people were you. having the debate. Like, and thank you. Because I saw some of the TMZ tried to kind of start taking down Shane Gillis again, yeah. but that had no traction. Well, that, like Lauren Michael, they're not, they're not gonna not like they know that when they bring him back. But the funny thing about that clip is he's making fun of the network he's on for being racist. Right. He's well, not like Compound Media calling them racist. But you also know, like you can. <laughs> it's just also you just pick clips anyway. Oh, of course, yeah. That's why I like good comedians, like still like Gillis and like. <laughs> Stephen Colbert, like guys who are just funny. <laughs> you enjoy that clip? Oh my god! Did you <laughs> see it? I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you retweeted it, right? Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Do you yeah. have that clip, guys, or not? I do. So, uh, I'm trying to provide the. Con- oh, it's just Trump. I mean, it's just Trump breaking somebody again. Again, like I've done this bit before. I've been doing. I've done it a long time. Like when I grew up, and I understand that was a long time ago. Like I didn't watch Johnny Carson that much. It was like an event because it was late. I was a kid, mm-hmm. but he would have on Don Rickles. You even have on like a TV star or a movie star, and they would just fuck around. Yeah, Carson would tell a couple of jokes. Carson was a big liberal, but like he would, you didn't really know that. He'd make fun of Reagan. He'd make fun of Clinton. What? He'd make fun of Bush. He'd make fun of Dan Quayle. He'd make fun of um, Tip O'Neill. He would make. He would just. But and then there would just be other. Like you weren't watching it. Put it this way: if I was a Democrat or I was a Republican, I wouldn't feel like I was being mocked or like don't fucking watch this show, stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which is what. Which is what this has become a sprint to. And I said, so I, I talked about it a little this morning, and I said, maybe if you went back and like cherry picked a moment out of Carson's show, sure. you, could, you could find him being serious. But after I said that, I was like, I don't know if that's true. Very, actually. very rare. I mean, I yeah. watched Carson. I've, I've now watched a lot of Carson. I've listened to podcasts, like, read books. Very. And Carson was a liberal. Yeah. But, you know, like Le- Leno was particularly apolitical. Letterman, for most of his career, stayed away from it. Then he got cranky and old. But for the majority, when Letterman was doing NBC and early CBS, there was none of that no, shit. No, but even, like, he would make fun of Bush. But like in a funny yeah, way. Like, make fun of Clinton. Bush would fuck up and he'd right. make fun of him. Dan you know? Quayle. Or, he'd yeah. make fun of Clinton, though. He'd yeah, make fun yeah. of Al Gore for being a stiff. Like right. that, that, that was all in play. Stephen Colbert is now, you know, obviously he's let, took over the Letterman job. He's been at CBS. Probably had that job for like eight years now. I don't know. <clears throat> Seven years. Ten, I think. He's been the 20 Letterman's been over 10 years? Is that right? 20, you might be right. I want to say 2014. He was definitely on the air in like Trump won in 2016. So he's been around at least that long. Yeah. You're probably right. So yeah. probably nine years, 10 years. Crazy. 2015, May 20. Oh, nine okay. years. So, and I don't even get, is there a context for this other than this Trump? I, so I went and watched the full thing. Yeah. And it's, it is sandwiched between jokes, quote unquote. It's not eight minutes of serious talk like this, but it is like, he starts it off with like, I want to give a PSA. Right. And it's like, oh boy. Here it is. I know, I know how numb we've become, but it's not normal. No other candidate for the presidency has ever had to pause his campaign to defend himself in multiple courts. And I would like to point out that in all seven of his cases, no one, no one doubts that he did these things. We're just sitting around patiently waiting to find out if the wheels of justice will grind fast enough for there to be any consequences. And the media is covering it like it's any other political story, like it's all horse race. His voice is he's like, cracking. He looks, like about my, to, he's, he's about to cry. Like when I was screaming at Portnoy. Right. That's how I sounded. <laughs> like, again, if I were in charge of CBS, I would fire him and replace him with somebody who's down the middle because whether he wins or not or loses or not or not, uh, Trump is going to get essentially half the votes from American citizens. Like half, whether it's 48, 52, whatever. Half the country wants him to be president. Half the country doesn't want Joe Biden to be president. Yeah. He is telling the states, of which there are many that are voting for uh, Trump. By the way, a lot of them are states that that show starts at 10 o'clock at night, so the ratings are actually higher. That was always a big part of Carson's appeal. Middle America, 11, 30, 10, 30 central. Yeah. So that was a huge, the ratings would be bigger. They're not watching this fucking guy. You think somebody in Iowa is watching this guy? Or somebody in Nebraska? Or No fucking chance listening to this asshole cry. Meanwhile, he thinks the media is being easy on Donald Trump? It's a horse race. Like, and the other, by the way, the other thing, hang over everything, of course, and it would be great. 
If you had somebody down the middle, which John Stewart came back on, if you saw him or not. Yeah, I didn't watch much of it. Did a little bit of it. Great. Like, yeah. did a little bit. He's a big liberal, but he will rip, you know, he'll rip a Democrat once in a while, for sure. Oh, yeah. Much he was very funny on Colbert. Made Colbert so uncomfortable. About the, yeah. the vaccine. Yeah. He was no, he was talking about, like, where the virus the came Wuhan from. Wuhan coronavirus yeah, right. lab. Being a comedian, yeah. telling jokes. And it was funny watching somebody, like, Stewart is, like, the last of that era. Like, he was around during Letterman and Leno. Like, you know, he was a little later, but he was around for that stuff. And even like Larry Sanders, he was always around. Like, he was around that world where these guys are just bubble guys now. Yeah. Just in a bubble. Well, so then, when, when, when Colbert does that, he's telling half of America, like, fuck you. Like, I, I don't want you to watch my show. And that's such a bad, I've said this forever. And this is why, like, that idiot on Fox gut felt like rises because of that. That's yeah. exactly why. You know, it's just and, it's crazy. And to be fair to like Gutfeld is like he doesn't do the same for the right. You know what I mean? Like he, he kind of is silly and has right. fun. Like, like whether or not you find it funny. He but. could easily break down and be like, this fucking guy in the White House can't speak. Right. Like there was another clip of Biden the other day. He can't speak. Like <laughs> you could do the same thing and start crying. You're right. And then throwing her arms around. But he's not doing that. He's mocking it. Like they, like they should be doing. Like, I don't know. If I was telling Colbert, I'd be like, you should be mocking Biden. But they're afraid. They've just, they're, again, he, Kimmel. And Fallon now, because Fallon's like has to pretend he has political beliefs just because he's got he's, <laughs> he's got bullied into it, really. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. And so Seth Myers too. And Seth Myers, who I think is actually probably like that's probably how he feels. And he's a yeah. smarter guy. And I do think it's it's the old thing, but I think it's different. It's just a smaller audience. This is like a prime. You know, this is a huge piece of real estate for CBS, and they've punted it. This well, for all for ideology, it's wild. What's even more strange to me, even like take out the political stuff, is like they've acknowledged like late night talk shows are dead the shit the james corden show is now that time slot is now a game show right by after midnight taylor, taylor. Yeah, yeah, yeah yes with taylor uh taylor tomlinson right which is smart yeah. honestly like just it should be a youtube show but like they've admitted like okay this is dead but we're still gonna pay colbert 15 million dollars i know and nobody's watching it yeah. it's crazy in adults uh 18 to 49 would you like to guess uh how many people are watching colbert total male total just totally just adults 18 to 49 this will answer every night. This will answer a question. This, I asked. this is what it says: two point six million. Oof, a little, little lower than that. A million and a half. It is two hundred eighty-six thousand. Yeah. <laughs> oh, eighteen forty-nine. Oh, eighteen. Yeah. Oh, yes. Right. It'd be all forty-nine and over. I, I would imagine because they're all old people watching TV. Yeah. So I uh, asked this question, and look I look up that Leno. Might, that might give up, me my answer. I'm sorry, Mike. Look up Leno's eighteen forty-nine. I know the world is different in like what oh five, say oh six before yeah. he left the first time. Go ahead, Mike. So Ooh. I was wondering, did the Colbert rapport? have more viewers than the late show with Stephen Colbert. With that age, for sure. Yeah. Because that was supposed to be the thing. He was going to bring over these young people. Right. But like, people were surprised. Like, Colbert was mocking Republicans while he was doing that. Right. Like, I don't know why people were surprised. Like, when they hired him, I'm like, now he's going to be Stephen Colbert and he's turned out to be a big oh, pussy. Oh, but I'm su I'm surprised. Like, the co the co character of Stephen Colbert was very funny. I know, but it was but it was clearly done by somebody who hates Republicans. Good. But who gives a shit? Well, I, I agree. I don't care about that. Well, well he I could keep doing that. Uh, I just uh, see this is where I disagree though because I think you're telling half of like I mean, I do think people in middle America want to sit down here if they were going to watch it hear a few jokes on both sides fine yeah. and then see a couple like great looking women or movie stars or, oh I then, see what you're saying but I but I'm saying I'd have less of a problem with him oh if he, he just was kept being, the character if he yeah, was being yeah. funny yeah. Yeah. yeah oh yeah 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 no that's fine I never I had no problem with the Colbert report but like now like when you start doing this and Kimmel cries and when Trump wins which is going to happen like these guys are going to fucking lose it they're going to dedicate. They've been talking about Trump now for eight years, every night. Yeah. Every night, because they know. <laughs> cause, I mean, to me, it's not like Jerry, but Biden is about the most mockable president of all time. I mean, and there was a clip, really that clip from the other day. Do you have that or no? Like the most the most recent one? In the middle of it, he just puts his head down in the middle of a press conference and it's just like <laughs> mumbling. It's crazy. I don't do much of it because there's so much out there of it. But like, it's, to me, underreported how crazy Biden's. An how, ally how, did not pay their dues. He'd encourage Russia to, quote, do whatever the hell they want. I guess I should clear my mind here a little bit. I mean, it's the president oh, of the yeah. United <laughs> States. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to be in his almost 90 when he's like, it's just crazy. It's a crazy start. Say what you want about Trump. And like I said before, I have little use for Trump, but all this madness. I would take Trump every day over this guy. I just would. I 
worried though that it's gonna go if like we just said like oh it's kind of changing there's not as much of that shit people trying to get canceled if trump gets elected yeah, oh, it'll come back yeah. i think that comes back well you know they just miss they just put their anger somewhere else like they yeah. can't do anything about trump being elected so let's fucking yeah do. right let's get these people fired or... which again like you know i don't yeah i don't know but yeah it's when i saw that clip i was like what a fucking baby colbert is and the audience you could tell was like what the fuck is going on i didn't get the sense the audience was loving that it's weird though, like if you're a Democrat that you don't want to make fun of Biden. That's like just it, funny. Yeah, it's just funny. Yeah, it's, just, it's like fu it's just funny. Like it's funny. Like Clinton was kind of fat. It's just funny. I don't like know. when I was a kid, I remember people mocking Bu something Bush said like every day. There right. was some mock choked on a pretzel or Bush sound. but I, right. I don't remember it being like he's a war criminal. We need to stop him. <laughs> like I don't remember the anger that goes along with it. There was stuff. A, a Carson make a ton of like Reagan being old jokes, but it was like it was funny or Nancy was controlling the White House, but it was like done in like a funny way where right. these guys are just like, like it, it, no problem, kill Trump, but also acknowledge that Biden's a moron. Yeah. Like he's, his brain is pudding. Uh, so as I said, I watched, uh, the, just for context, I watched a little more of the monologue. Did yeah. I miss something where he would like, where this would be more topical than I'm realizing? Play, play, play a Colbert monologue. Play that monologue. I just want to hear it. Go ahead. A minute after that, he has a reference that I'm stunned is in a 2024 monologue. Ooh, well, let's hear it. Do we have that monologue from that show? Uh, I'm getting it. All right. I think it's from like Thursday. It was posted on YouTube like two days ago. Is he number one late night though or no? Yes, he is. And in total, I think it's 2.33 million people watch. Unbelievable. Okay, so that's at least more than um, we're watching Comedy Central Pro. This is his monologue from two days ago. Well, to the Late Show, I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. You got to go like uh, maybe... Once two, again, two, three it was minutes an insane in. day for America because it was free. Like, it's all horse race. Oh, there it is. But in this horse race, one of the horses is old. <laughs> and in light of all that, in light of all that, oh. I'd like to make a brief public service announcement. This is <laughs> up. <laughs> Look. That's <here. clears throat> Look. I know... I know how numb we've become, but it's not normal. It's no the thing other we just for the presidency right? has ever yeah. had to pause his campaign. Well, go jump ahead. ...forward two minutes after the hearing got underway. Oh, Wait, this is what I'm talking two about. Two minutes, okay? Which is twice as long as Trump lasted with Stormy. Oh. I mean, I, did I miss something so that says, that's a relevant <laughs> topic again? Now, the trial... Jesus. It's an eight-year-old joke. Yeah, ...begins Jesus March 25th. Christ. And in this historic case, the former president will be represented by Trump attorney and most expensive dish on the cannibal restaurant menu, <laughs> Todd Blanch. <laughs> Todd Blanch tried in vain. Here's to the other thing: the like, case was like this, is, this is where these guys have. This is terrible. This is. We'll play some more. Maybe this is where these guys have no idea, no connection to reality. No average American gives a fuck about this Trump trial. Oh nobody, no! Nobody, <laughs> no. nobody thinks is. Nobody thinks he's going to jail. Nobody thinks he won't be on the ballot. Nobody, these guys in their bubble and their MSNBC, New York Times, circle jerk world think that it matters. Nobody cares. People care way more about whatever, fucking Trump sneakers than that. Like it's, <laughs> like nobody cares. But even if he were going to jail, it's not a, a trial that people are like, it's not like OJ. <laughs> it's not something no. that people are like, he's not going. And we all know what's going to, he's not going to, he'll be, he'll be the nominee. Like he'll go, you know, they're going to try and it's just, like, play more of this idiot. As a discombobulated package of politically motivated charges. Coincidentally, according to Stormy, Trump also has a discombobulated package. Second Stormy Daniels joke? Holy That's shit. Wild. I didn't get that far. Let's go. <laughs> but Judge uh, Juan Merchan wasn't buying it and got frustrated with Blanche's bombastic court style. The judge snapped, stop interrupting me, please. And Mr. Blanche, please have a seat. Trump's lawyers are acting out so much at this point the judges have to come to court with a spray bottle. No, no, Mr. Blanche. Oh my God! Jesus Jesus Christ! Christ. Down, down. He brought he brought a spray, spray bottle. bottle with hey, him. Oh, props. Oh, good. Um, real carrot top. I don't even like. Uh, I don't find Colbert particularly. I just think he stinks. But like, yeah. this is embarrassing. Why? What? Why is Trump? Uh, I, I don't know. Like. I guess he doesn't have a producer who he or an executive. Nobody doesn't have to listen to any, answer to anybody. I guess. I guess I because I would be like, get your fucking shit together. Like this is a shit show. Yeah, I couldn't think of anyone that was 
so good. Like I thought the Colbert rapport was so good. Like that character, I thought. Yeah, was I thought so I thought, good. I thought it was, oh, there was one note. Like after a while, I was like, I get it. Maybe, that was I, like, maybe that was, I was the right yeah, age. That was like, and I get it for me. Like it was funny, but like I got it. But I thought he was funny in that, and I've never seen someone like reverse be a, in a similar he's not, role because he's not like, and be so unfunny. Right. But he's not playing that guy. That's why right. this is who he is. He's like a he's a he's a whacked out liberal. Yeah. So now you're allowed to be a whacked out liberal as opposed to being like a parody of it, which can be funny. But now you're doing it and you're angry. You're angry that Trump, you're angry. He's, you know, you know, do you think that Stephen Colbert, if you got him privately, thinks that Joe Biden should be the president of the United States? Like, of course not. He no. thinks somebody else should be, but there's nobody else. Yeah. So I don't know. What else? He makes $16 million a year. Yeah. I mean, no, no one's watching. It's crazy. It's crazy. I, I don't know. They would, they'd be way better off having fucking whoever, I don't know, Logan Paul hosting it or whoever. Oh, for sure. Well, it should be, and this is what Conan tried to do, and I don't know if the ratings got any better, but Conan tried to just like make it a podcast. He's like, all right, I'll get rid of the desk. I'll wear sweatpants. I'll, wear sweatpants, yeah, and I'll yeah. talk to one guest for half an hour. That's the other thing about you know, Conan was never particularly cranky about this stuff. No. Which again, I might think he is from that generation. Yeah. Like he was, he's a Letterman guy. He was in, on in the 90s. Like they, do I think Conan's a huge liberal? I'm going to guess Conan's a huge liberal. Probably but he's so. also smart enough to know that, like, it doesn't, A, it's not funny. It just sounds whiny. And B, like, if Conan goes to do a show at some theater, like, half, half the people are like, fuck you. I don't want to hear you do this. Like, it's not, I, I mean, you want to, if you find a funny way to do it, Trump, great. Stormy Daniels jokes in 2024 is not. That, that was crazy to me. Two? I was, like, I was like, I must be missing some story where she's back in the news. Let's see. Maybe we are. I don't think so. I mean, she's, I did see her name recently, but like, I don't think that's particularly, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's just crazy to me. Uh, it's wild. What else, Coleman? Um, speaking of Biden, though, uh, I saw this today about his brother using him or something for this uh, health care provider. Uh -huh. He got like caught up in this. And that was kind of annoying to me, though, because they, I guess the media typically refers to Trump as you like getting his family uh, in place or whatever with, you know, benefits and money or whatever it may be, or just trying to help them out somehow. Uh -huh. And really Biden's the one doing this now. It's the second time we're seeing this. It really come bothers up. you, huh, Colin? It does. It's annoying because it's, it's annoying. like, it's it, fired up. Weren't you, a, weren't you a Biden guy? Used to be. Yeah. Okay. I've seen the light. Small time <laughs> seen, seen the orange. <laughs> yeah. Out of way, brother. What's going on? Blindmike.net. Uh, like you said, live show today that is yep. still up that you can go watch. Yep, go do it. Um, and why are you laughing? Uh, Gary Delabate episode is up. Yep. Shane Gillis will be this week. Um, I don't know the schedule after that. Oh, uh, I think we might do a comedy special breakdown. One of Daniel Tosh's special. Okay. Well, so good. Check Excellent. those out if right. you wouldn't mind. What else, Justin? Uh, I, I saw you, you call out that I last week that I did not know. I misgendered Glenn Close. Yes, oh, yes. Is that true? Did you not know she was a woman? I, I looked up. I know I looked her is. up. Yeah. You don't know who she is? Nope. You've never seen anything she's in. Let me think. That's probably true. I saw she was in like a bunch of like Shakespeare stuff. That's true. She was in the original 101 Dalmatians. Oh, yeah. Did you see that? Like when I was three. Okay. Uh, Air Force One. Air Force One. Nope. Okay. I'm just, I, I'm not surprised he doesn't know the actress. I'm surprised he's never heard the name. He never heard the name? Glenn is a boy's name. I know that, but you <laughs> never heard her name? No. She's been nominated for probably seven or eight Oscars. I don't watch Oscar movies. Well, that's not necessarily true. The Shape of Water. Birdman. <laughs> okay. So one. Oppenheimer. Such, such Oppenheimer, disgust. I do. Titanic. <laughs> I do, yes. Go Hunting, that one Oscars. Return of the King. Return of the King. I do, yes. So I guess you do. But like, but like, you know what I mean by Oscar movies. The Dark Knight. Was the Dark Knight an Oscar movie? Heath Ledger won. Well, Heath Ledger won. Yeah. Let me look at Glenn Close. Let me see. You didn't see Fatal Attraction, for example. No idea. Okay. Uh... Acting credits. She's been nominated for how many Oscars, Coleman? Seven or eight? Uh, she might be with, I think she might have eight. She has one of the most, she might be the most nominated ever without winning. Ooh, Justin, she's in, she's in Guardians, the original. She's in Guardians? Yep. As what? Nova Prime. The leader of the Nova Corps. Oh, she supposed to be like a can cameo or something. I'm just saying she's in it. I mean, if you're a big enough fan, she's in it. I like that this is now going to have Justin on guard that when Glenn Ordway's in here, he's going to be like, Madam, how are you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's a guy's name generally. That is true. So you, so that's, yeah, I guess you wouldn't have seen her or anything, I suppose. I just think you would know she is, though. I don't know. I just, I don't watch movies, really. Okay. Hmm. 
don't know what to say to that. I don't even know how to answer that. Yeah, I mean, I guess the ones in the 80s you wouldn't have seen. You never saw The Big Chill. Big Chill. Is that like a global warming movie? Give me a plot. If you had to guess <laughs> the plot of The Big Chill, what is it? The Big Chill, it's kind of like a, uh, oh, what is it? Not Tomorrow Never Comes. It's the one with uh, Dennis Quaid and, um, are you saying the one with Dennis Quaid and Jake Gyllenhaal? Yes. The one where it's like everything is like. The Day After crazy. Tomorrow? Yes. Okay. Yes, it's kind of like that where it's like, it, it's like. Well, the plot of a film is not, when you say the plot of the film, you don't say it's like the other movie. What's the plot of, you're pitching, so I won't watch The Big Chill tonight. What's the plot, Justin? The Big Chill uh-huh. is, it's about uh, a professor yeah. in at UC Berkeley. Okay. And he's been trying, he's been ringing the bell on climate change for forever. It's okay. 1983. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And he, he's, he's, he's fed up with this Reagan. Sure. This this Reagan nonsense. Okay, all right. He's he's ringing it, and then he sees he looks in his telescope, <laughs> and he sees. <laughs> he sees. Go ahead. He sees almost like a tsunami of cold. <laughs> of what? Of cold. <laughs> of cold. Oh, a huge chill. That's a of lot cold. of cold. It's, it's, no, it's, <laughs> so it's like huge. an action movie almost. <laughs> Kinda, and he goes around. And he's that's he's, what Dennis Quaid is in that movie, right? Like a like a scientist who's kind of an action star. Yeah, and he's warning everyone. He goes, everyone, it's going to get real. The big chill is coming. The big chill, the big chill, chill is coming. <laughs> and then Reagan sends his lackeys to is go. Is Ronald Reagan in the movie? Uh, he's an actor. He's not. Because it takes place present day in 1983. He's the president of the United States at the time. No. It, it is a present day film. Yes, but they get like. Do you know anybody? Let me, let me use the names of the people. In the movie. You're close. You, you almost got that plot. Almost exactly. Except for the Reagan part. Uh, uh, Kevin Klein. Uh. You nope. never heard that name in your life, Kevin Klein. Nope. Interesting. William Hurt. William Hurt. Oh, he's, he's sound- been in Marvel movies. If, oh, William. Dance until your feet hurt. Sing until your lungs hurt. Mm-hmm. William Act Hurt. Act until you're William. Oh Hurt. no, that's, that's right. William Hung. That's William, William Hung. Hung. <laughs> William <laughs> Hung is not the big chill. Okay. Ah, uh, she bang. Yeah. That'd be a good part. No. Very <laughs> successful soundtrack. He's not. William Hurt. No, I don't. Okay. Uh, some of these, there's a famous, can, you know the famous cameo in this movie, Mike, that was not actually in the film? I, I don't know the, if I'm So the plot of the big show is a bunch of, it's like show. a college reunion, a bunch of people from college, college? reunion. Somebody dies uh, and they go, it's his funeral. This guy, Alex, who kills himself. Alex was originally, they shoot scenes with him, but he didn't make the final uh, film. It was an unknown actor named Kevin Costner. Ah. Yeah, so you've heard of him. I have. What movie of Kevin Costner's have you seen? This is going to sound crazy. Uh-huh. Was he in Superman Legacy or not? He Legacy. plays. Uh, he plays the uncle. He plays the. I mean, the dad. Like That's the an interesting uh, one to know him from. He was in. Uh, he dies in it. Yes. He gets killed almost by a tsunami. In the way. Uh, it was a tornado. I know, but it was very the same thing. It was also like a very like. It was a bad death. It was, stupid. Like. Yeah, I laughed in the theater when I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> That's your. That's your Kevin Costner extent of, of your knowledge for him. Kevin Costner. Oh, why did I think he also played a president? Oh, was he? In, he was in Independence Day. I don't believe so. No, Bill Pullman Bill, is. Bill, yeah. This is wild to me. I mean, I know you're younger, but that is crazy. Like, I could name you fifty. Like, like what's what's the Robert what's Redford, his? Jack Lemmon movies? Oh well, Robert Redford is the president in. Um, well, we just went over that in no, Watchmen. Pre- what? Robert Redford is president in Watchmen, the TV show. He is. Yeah, Robert Redford's on the Watchmen. No, he he is president in Watchmen. He's president not- of the United States. Oh, on the show, but he's not in it. No, he's he re- elected president. Yeah, he replaces. Uh, um, gotcha. Do you know who Warren Beatty is? I wouldn't expect a man of his age to know that. Just know the sir. name? I do. I, mean, I know I'm different. Sounds I'm super like, into what, stuff What's his biggest thing he's been in? <laughs> I don't know how to answer. Uh, like something. I mean, have you ever seen, ever heard of Bonnie and Clyde? I've heard of them. <laughs> them. Okay, it's a movie. <laughs> I mean, you're right. That's a, uh, um, gee, Bullworth? Bullworth. Oh, is that the, it's is weird. that like a cartoon? Bulls. No. I'm thinking of Rocky and Bull. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, that's, what I'm thinking of. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking of. The Glenn Close's next film, she was nominated for an Oscar for her next film as well, The Natural. You know what the plot of that film is? That sounds like a baseball thing. So you must there know you that. It is. You know who plays a natural? natural. Is, that that the, is this, wait, is this the, the movie where in the movie he hits a home run, but in the book he strikes out? Correct. In the movie, it's a home run at the end. The, the lights go... You know, that's an incredible flip from the last. <laughs> I didn't expect that. <laughs> I know that. From one I know film that to another. My dad. I remember my dad was talking. We're at like a party or a cookout or something. Robert like Redford that. plays a natural, and they were talking about that movie. And my dad said about how he had someone in his class gave a report on the book. Though he strikes out at the end, but yeah. he said like 
he hits a home run, and the teacher knew that he was lying. Uh, oh, they got him. That's how you know it. Yeah, nope. Glenn Clo- the natural, nope. Okay. I mean, you don't have, again, you don't have to know these things. It's okay. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I just don't think you would know anything else. Of Glenn Close? Yeah, I just don't I don't see it. Uh, There's something like that where I would think you would know the name, but not necessarily their work. I would have guessed like maybe 101 Dalmatians is probably his best bet. Well, I like know what does she play, Corella? Yeah. Okay. In the original, I would But like also kind of, you don't see her in that. Well, I mean you do see her, but she's yeah, but, in, like costume, right? Yes. Correct. Huh. You ever see Kevin Costner in Draft Day? Probably his best work. Oh, yes. That's what it was. Yeah. He plays, he the, plays uh, the pre- GM. You were thinking the president of the Browns is what he plays. Yes, yes. exactly. <laughs> yeah. President of the... Yes, he's the, you're right. He makes the trades which he's with Jennifer Gardner in that film. Yes. Kevin. Quite a terrible film. <laughs> really bad, but kind of like watchable, like if you're flipping oh, I, around. I love you know, like you know it's, because it's pointless. They like, I probably do know who's in that movie, but... Uh, who would I know from that movie? Arian Foster's in that movie. No. Well, yes. He but, is in that movie. Um, hmm. Dennis Leary's in that movie. Yep. Jennifer Garner's in that movie. One of my favorite actors is in this movie. Uh, Sam Elliott. No. <laughs> Sam Elliott's in this movie. Is he in that movie? Yeah. He oh, yeah. yeah that's right. He's the coach. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Um, Which, Sam Elliott has the best role because he's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, leave me alone. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Ellen Burstyn's in the film. Uh, hmm. What character? Uh, you want me to give like, you a hint? Which, yeah, give me a hint. I don't know what that More means. More guessing games. Than no, give me another, give me Wakanda another. forever. <laughs> oh, that's right. He plays the he plays the the guy they pick. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, is that a? Hmm. That's Lee Chadwick Boseman. Chadwick Boseman. Yes, that's right. And Aaron Foster's in the movie. As who? One of the picks. One of the running backs, I believe. Oh, oh I didn't yeah. realize that was Aaron. Foster. I think I'm right about that. Am I not looked that up? Yeah. I believe so. Yeah, he's in it. Dances Sweet. with wolves. It's just like a, this is this from this picture. This looks like a movie I would like. It's yeah, very like dance with wolves all the time. <laughs> is it very no? He's it's holding kind of like he's holding like an American flag. Yeah, he's not not an American he's flag. A, it's like he's a, a dancing with wolves the whole time. He goes no, no, <laughs> no. Nope. He's not dancing with wolves. That won best picture that year and it director. Did? Yep, very is controversial because Goodfellas did not. What's that? Is it like kind of like? I, it's a big epic. I'm not a big fan of it. You never seen JFK? I have not. Robin Hood, huge hit. Oh, that movie was terrible. But, but he's in it. I, I understand that, but he's in the film. I'm surprised you haven't seen JFK. I feel like that'd be up your alley. Yeah, good conspiracy movie. Isn't it like not based in reality, though? Well, well kind it of, depends yes, on what you of. believe. I mean, yeah, it's, it's a conspiracy movie. All Stone's a nut, but it's good. you never seen The Untouchables? Untouchables. What's that about, would you think? I know it's kind of your, huh. kind of your story. <laughs> 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 the for, forbidden fruit. What's the, what's the plot of the Untouchables? What's the goddamn age of consent? What's the uh, plot of the Untouchables? Uh, so there's a there, there's a group of mafia guys. Okay. Okay. They're, they're all they're all like hey. Not far off, Mike. And yeah. they're all like hey. They all get together, but one of them starts like breaking off, and he kind of wants to become the head. So mm-hmm. we so we kill someone. They're like you didn't even kill the main guy. You killed one of the Touchables. <laughs> You have to go on ahead and kill the untouchables, people we don't even know about. And so he goes and he starts killing the untouchables. They're awfully people, nice people to him after he kills one of the touchables. <laughs> They're very reasonable. Look, I understand you made a mistake. You killed the touchable. I'll give you two weeks to get out we, of here. We here at the Mafia have grown over the years. Look, plenty of time. Do, do your paperwork. Get out of here. We'll find you a nice place to live. But you, know, you killed the touchable. Mm. The touchables. Okay. Wait a minute. Touchables, he killed a member of the mob. Why would they be touchable? Within Here's, the group. Yeah, that's like someone he, like... Someone you can kill? Okay, let's say someone comes in here and is like, I fucking hate Kirk. And then they just punch me in the face. Right. Yeah. And you're, you're like... You're a touchable. You're, you're like, touchable. hey, listen, you can do that. Or, or it would actually be like if me and Mike were doing a podcast and then sure. someone comes and kicks the shit out of me. And is like, I ah, now I want to be with you, Mike. And you're like, hey, listen, you, you, you fuck with Justin. He's a touchable. The untouchable is Kirk. We don't we don't really even mention him. Oh, he's kind of like off screen. Okay. Oh, the hell you're Why did they have to punch you in this scenario? Because <laughs> I'm untouchable. <laughs> well, you have seen you have seen Field of Dreams, no? I uh, no. I've no. Inter- have you seen that, Coleman? I've not actually. What's the plot of that, Coleman? Uh, it's that he builds a baseball yeah, field to it. have one final catch with his dad. There you I go. know in example. that oh, movie, yeah. it's... Bull Durham. Oh, I saw that at like a. I was shit faced at a Hooters once and it came on. <laughs> what? I was. Hold on. <laughs> what? When? I don't think you know the proper function of Hooters. 
Was it a screening? <laughs> you go, get shit faced there and watch movies. <laughs> was a movie night at Hooters? <laughs> no, it came on. It was, was on, on the screen. It was on. It was one of those days where like it was just baseball. It was in the summer. What? It was <laughs> only of Bull Durham. Well, it was a baseball it, movie, and it came but. on, and it was like, oh, what was? You watched it? Like you know that it's bad? <laughs> You're yes. shit faced? Yes. I think it was on the screen, I get it. He's like Why are you watching <laughs> anything at Hooters? He's like Walter White at the in New Hampshire at that bar. <laughs> Go back. <laughs> Go back. I'll give you five thousand dollars to watch Bull Durham with me. Bill Durham, I believe, is about Can you get your tits out of the way? I want to watch Bull Durham. <laughs> A minor league baseball team? Were yeah, you, you got it. You got were it. You with being people? Sold? No. What's You're that? alone? No, was I alone? Where was this? Where was this Hooters? I believe it was the one in Shrewsbury. Okay, I think I've been to that one. Were you a big Hooters guy? Oh, I love Hooters. You, oh, you still do? I love Hooters. You like the titties or the food? It's mostly the food. But you like the titties too? My titties are fine, but yeah. like I would go to Hooters if it was called normal sports bar. Yeah, <laughs> no that's titties. A great name. Yeah. Normal sports bar, no titties. You would still go there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But that's normally where I go to uh, to like watch games. Boy, really? Nice what a atmosphere. pleasant treat you would get in when you walked into normal sports bar, no <laughs> oh, titties. Wow. Hey, they, they lie. This is abnormal. There's titties all over the place. Um, oh yeah, Rob Bradford was a big fan. It's kind of the same thing. It was like sort of not as an asexual. So you just like the food there. Oh, I, really? I remember there was a, uh, a field trip I took in, in high school. What? And it was so. Remember, what I said a couple weeks ago we had these field trips on student council. No. Okay, oh yes, well, yes, yes, yes. Well, yes, anyway, yes. so we're coming back from it, and we we were trying to decide to go where to go as a group. Uh -huh. And I was like, "We should go to Hooters." <laughs> and it was mostly girls, and, they, and they were like, "Justin, you horn dog, blah, blah blah." And I said, "I will eat on the fucking bus. I just want the wings." Wow. Wow. The story. It should be a movie. When he when he said I'll eat on the bus, he pointed to one of the girls' crotches. <laughs> <laughs> well, the girls. I'm in my molesting children era. Hey, that. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Do you know who? You know who Dustin Hoffman is. Twenty, 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 twenty-one. Oh, yeah. A lot, lot of queens. Yep. What do you, is that Montante or is that Dustin? <laughs> oh, no, this is Montante. <laughs> Do you know who? You know who Paul Newman is. Uh, I believe he has a charity where he makes pizza and all the profits go uh, Can you book him, please, so we can talk about that? Great frozen no, pizza. No. Newman's own frozen pizza? Oh, no. I'm down horrendous on it. Wait, wait, wait. It's free ads, Mike. Jesus. <laughs> Just saying. <You> Steve <laughs> it Steve goes to charity. <laughs> Screw them. <laughs> what, uh, what, we, but no, no movies, though. Uh, I guess you wouldn't have. I mean, he plays a, a, Paul, one of the voices in Cars. Paul Newman. Is he? No. Is he the, uh, the old, old car? Yeah, the green. I believe green so. car with the mustache. I think so. Yeah, that's what he's best known for. Oh, <laughs> just exactly like that's gonna jog his memory. Oh, he's the green car with the mustache. Well, you <laughs> know who he looks like? What's the line though? He like, looks like Will Arnett. <laughs> anyway, well, um, sure. He, he looks like uh, Jeff Dillo's father, doesn't? Isn't that what grandfather? Jeff's grandfather, just, just like him. Yeah, 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 no yeah, pictures yeah. ever been produced. Yeah. Well, no, there was. He. he oh, that's right. He that's right. taunted me by sending me that's a picture. That's right. That's right. Did it look like him? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not the man to judge <laughs> that. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> But, like, what's the line for Justice? Like, he doesn't know any Paul Newman movies. Yeah. But, like, you know Al Pacino movies. Uh, yeah. Like what? Well, you're not going to like the first one that came to mind. Well, oh, go ahead. It was uh, Duncan Chino. Oh, Jack, That's not a movie, Jack and but Jill. Jack and Jill. Isn't that? <laughs> yes. Yeah, okay. It's not um, Al anymore. <laughs> uh, I, I saw him in The Irishman. He's in that. Um, Can I tell you, a pro it's been, this has been burdening me, and this is the first opportunity I've ever had to vent this. Go ahead. In that movie... The Al Pacino Irishman. said, no, uh, Jack and Jill. Oh, God. Al Pacino says, it's not Al anymore. It's Dunk. Right. And then he says, what's my name? Dunk Pacino. That's <laughs> well, not right. Well, Dunk is a short his nickname. But it, would, but it would be Dunk Pacino. Oh, you're right, Mike. <laughs> you feel I'm burdened now? <laughs> not as much as I was hoping. <laughs> well, I'm going to bring well, it up to Lauren. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she'll laugh. I'll give you that. <laughs> you no fucking idea what you're talking about, but she'll laugh. <laughs> I'm going to try my best to insert that into the conversation. <laughs> Ask her what the plot is of the big chill. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, like I know these Al Pacino movies. I haven't seen any of them. Like the Serpico you've never seen or Dog the Afternoon or any of that stuff. Godfathers I haven't seen. Right, sure. Heat, I haven't seen. Right. Who would? Um, Scarface I've seen like. I, well, that, that's not. I've seen like clips on like Facebook. Sure. Yeah, you've like, seen the Tony, famous moments. Tony would, Tony would slice the garlic real thin so it would go into the. I don't think the that's pan. the right movie. That's Goodfellas. That's Goodfellas. Goodfellas. Yeah. <laughs> right? oh, okay. Mm, you've seen that. I have Post, not. I've not. seen clips of that. Yes, clips of that. But like if I said to you, like. But he said, he saw an edited version where they referenced Tony for some reason. But I put you in a room by yourself. You had to name two Gene Hackman movies. Could you do it? 
two Gene Hackman movies. Do you know who that is? It's your, he's your favorite actor. Sure, but I mean, he's more than that. He was in JFK. No, he wasn't. He was in All the President's Men. No, I wish he was, but he wasn't. Uh, you know nothing about. You must know Welcome to Mooseport. I do not know Welcome to Mooseport. Ants. That's surprising to me. Ants. I know Ants. Yeah, I, uh, what's his face is in Ants too. Mike's friend. Woody Allen. Woody Allen. Woody Allen. <laughs> so Stallone, I believe. The Birdcage. Birdcage. I think once he would have seen. Like you can see Crimson Tide. No, is that about the tide? Yep. He plays Nick Saban. <laughs> Wait, who's in Birdcage, you said? Gene Hackman is. He's the, the, the senator, like the stuffy... Father-in-law, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I don't yeah. know if I ever realized that. Yes. Gene Hackman. Maybe I'll watch every single Gene Hackman movie. You could do a lot worse. <laughs> like, greatest actor of all time. He was in Superman? He's Lex Luthor. Oh. You've seen Superman? Yeah, back in the day. It's a great movie. Well, why would you see that? Um... Enemy of the State. Yeah, Will Smith. Hoosiers. Yes, he's in Hoosiers, I believe. Yeah, Minor right. role. <laughs> he's Unforgiven. French Connection. No. Conversation. He's in Superman 2. He is in Superman 2. <laughs> Young Frankenstein. That's a funny movie. He's very funny in that. It's a very funny movie. Yeah. You've seen it. Oh, yeah. So you know Gene Hackman. Though. You know him. I would know of him. Why did I think he was Willy Wonka? That's Gene Wilder. Because their name's both Same Gene, name. that's why, Justin. Yeah. If, you want to, if you really want to break it down, I'm going to guess that's why. There's no other reason. I think you hit the nail on the head. <laughs> I mean, I don't... I could try and make a more of a connection. I don't think there is one. See, Coleman's better at this than Justin. He's not much better, but like he knows... But do you know who Kevin Klein is? Ooh. I've heard the name. I can't okay. picture him. I'm not saying again, not that he's a huge star or anything. but Yeah, that's one I wouldn't expect. Kevin Costner, I'm surprised. And, I got uh, Costner, like Dustin yeah. Hoffman. Costner was the biggest star in the world. Again, it was a long time ago. Like, have you seen the Julia Roberts well, movie? Well, I mean, Kevin Costner was—he was in Yellowstone. That's yeah, a big show on TV. Paid, yeah. Highest paid actor on television. Have you seen the Julia Roberts movie, Justin? Uh, Julia Roberts. I believe she was in Ocean's Twelve. Yeah, they and Eleven. Yeah, and she plays Julia Roberts. Yeah, it's yes. very funny. It's funny to know her from the sequel of those films. <laughs> Justin doesn't know the sequel. It's not they started at twelve. It's actually that's that's. I haven't seen Ocean's Eight. But 12 was the worst out of 11, 12, 13. Al Pacino is in uh, 13, I believe. He plays the bad guy. Correct. Yes. He, no, he doesn't get his five diamonds. He does not. He does not. Spoiler alert. He does not. <clears throat> All right, Milton's a store for men. Go to Milton's.com. Social Plaza Breakthrough. Street. Chestnut Hill Court, Chestnut Hill, of course. Um, uh, uh, in the Burlington Mall, their newest location. I get all your clothes right there. Vineyard Vine, Tommy Bahama, Peter Millar. Get all your stuff. Get your shoes. Buy one, get one free. Suit event goes on. We'll be there in a few weeks getting ready for Portland, Maine at the end of next month as we start rolling for that. Get your clothes. Look great. Feel great. Get your Easter outfit. Just go go to the Milton's. If you want the comfortable clothes, great. You want the suits, great. You want your shoes. They'll do it all for you. They'll do it. They'll be happy. They tell them that the Kirkman and Show sent you there, by the way. They love that. So go to Milton's.com right now. Uh, and tell them the Kirkman and Show Century. Help yourself, help this show out, and help them out. Uh, we thank Milton's as always. Anything else, guys? If I have to start with a single Gene Hackman movie, what should I start with? <sighs> I will review every single Gene Hackman movie this week. He's when been in 300 movies. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to get watching. It's going to be a long week. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to spend mm. your time. <laughs> trying to think. Where, where, would, where would I start with Gene Hackman from Justin? What would Justin like? I think you'd like Unforgiven, Justin. Okay. You want to start with Hoosiers? He's probably the most palatable. Is what's his face mm -hmm. in Unforgiven? Who? My guy, uh, Clint. Clint Eastwood's the, the writer. I mean, not the writer. The director and star of Unforgiven. So, funny, one best picture, one best director. Funny story. The first uh, Clint Eastwood movie I ever saw was uh, Gran Torino. Uh -huh. And all I was over at my friend's house. I was in middle school or something like that. It's already we, a scream. Yeah. We, we only get funnier from here, I think. And uh, I remember the entire time, I just know Clint Eastwood was a Western guy. It's true. So I thought it was going to like at some point going to like flashback and kind of does become a, a, West a western. Not right. really. I was, but like as a story, it kind of is like a guy, an old, just cranky. in modern times. Yeah. Yes. Yes. He doesn't my, talk to a chair in it either. My grandfather <laughs> loves that movie. Gran Torino. Gran Torino. Yes, that makes sense. I I like that movie. I like the Mule better, which he made later. But yeah, I think it, it it's like a love. It story. contains like the a, worst what, piece the mule? of acting. Yeah. No, it's not. Is that the one where he's like driving the? Drugs back and forth. Yeah, I mean his wife is di dying. It's not a love story. No, it's a good. It's a good movie. The Mule's good. But yeah, 
I think Grand Torino contains the worst five seconds of acting in any movie ever. The kid? Let me out! Yeah, the kid. The, the yeah, kids are terrible actors. <laughs> that's the other thing. I would start with Unforgiven. Then I would do Hoosiers next. I'm gonna go, I mean, go with this two, like, sort of, mo yeah, I would say. Yeah. He is in a lot of movies. I might have swallowed it off more than I could. How do. many hours would this take? Yeah, I only have to watch every Gene Hackman movie. I think it's a better use of your time as producer of the show. I don't really see the payoff. I kind of want to. <laughs> what about Geronimo? He's in it very briefly. Oh, that would, that would suck to watch the entire drama. It's not great either. It's, he's in a lot of bad movies, that's for sure. He's in some great movies, but in some bad movies. Superman 4? Uh, Superman 4 is not a great movie. Not great. But yeah. Anyway. All right. So we're back uh, in the week. So we're off for the rest of the week. I'll do the unnamed show Thursday. Uh, go to blindmike.net. Go subscribe. Go check out the YouTube channel. Blind, the Blind Mike Project as well. Go do that. Thank you. Is there a Tuesday this week still? Oh, yeah. Okay. Tuesday doesn't stop. No, never stops. Never stops. Uh, anything else from you guys? Uh, I was going to ask, Mike, I know you got like kicked off of YouTube last week. but that Oh, is that right? I don't know what bit he's trying to pull it. Oh, <laughs> I was trying to pull a bit. Uh, <laughs> he, calls me, he calls me the other day and goes, Mike Geary, this is Justin Trudell from KMS News. I did not say news. <laughs> so I assume, I assume he's recording me. No, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> and I go... Yeah, <laughs> he goes. Give give me the scoop on this YouTube story, and I go. I don't know what you're talking about, Justin. <laughs> and he goes, the big scandal on YouTube. I and I was like, what was the, what's the joke? <laughs> I was like, oh, said. I got a video I had got taken, like got flagged for copyright, and then we just put it back up after, and it was fine. I oh. tweeted about it a couple times. Oh, okay. I, just, I missed that. One. It's as you, you should have. <laughs> I'll get the joke, Justin. Hey, there was no joke. We called him not joking. I called him to see what was going on. Yeah, you said you were from KMS News. I said I didn't say KMS What'd News. You say? I said the Kirk Minahan show. So that's a joke, then. Like you're doing a kind of a bit there. No, it's called. Call I know it where you tough. work. <laughs> it wasn't recorded, was it? No. Okay. Sometimes you just call people up and you're just like, "What are you guys gonna do this week?" Uh, I got to go through some of uh, Gene Hackman's stuff films? from Portland. <laughs> no, <laughs> stuff from Portland coming up. So I'm gonna be working on that. Get you uh, uh, some mocks of some stuff. Okay. So. Okay. All right. Justin, anything else from you? Uh, yeah, just making sure uh, everything's set with uh, Portland. Okay. When Coleman says he's going to get you some mocks, do you think it's going to be like, oh, do you like this one, Kurt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, what does that mean? <laughs> Even though, you know, mocks of what? Just like a uh, a preview, like if you will. See if you like, like an edit. Basically. Why is your head shaking around? Of what? Of uh, some stuff for the show, basically. Like Portland. more ideas? No, not ideas. Okay. Like, okay. like what? Like stuff being planned. Stuff that's been being planned. Stuff that's been being planned. Okay. Yeah. I don't so, know how much I can give away. I'm trying, give to, anything trying away. to toe the line. All right, good. I appreciate it. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. A week off, thank God. So we're back uh, here Monday, I suppose. Mike will not be here, right? No, I get back. Be in, uh, when do you leave for Austin? I leave Saturday. I come home late Tuesday night, I believe. Okay. Do you have any bits, any jokes lined up yet or no? <laughs> I didn't care for your implication last week that I had, had already been planning things to say. <laughs> I'm not saying it's untrue. But <laughs> I mean, this feels like a dreadful conversation. It's gonna. <laughs> I think we're going to learn a lot I mean, about my love pulling life. Pulling teeth here. Poor, I disagree. I feel bad for you. I, I, like, I think we're going to have a lot of fun. So it's just you and her? Yeah. How, you know, how long are these episodes generally? I think they're usually like 35 minutes, something like that. So you're just going down for that? I mean, we're, I, we're gonna, like, yeah, we got yeah, tickets yeah. to the mothership. I think we're going to check that out. Okay. What's Got that? Some, uh, Joe Rogan's place. What do you mean, tickets to it? Comedy club. It's, a, oh, it's not his house. I think yeah. like a studio. I was like, oh, yeah. I mean, who knows? He was like, Howie Carr? <laughs> I'm doing that <laughs> Rogan while I'm down there. And <laughs> yeah, well, you never know. That's the thing. You who else is in Hurry Little Universe? Uh, like Tom Segura. It's, 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 it's close. If, uh, if I kill it, maybe Rogan will have me on. You never know. Yeah. You never know. Good. Yeah. So, that's, so we don't know when that's going to air, though. No, I'd imagine. Uh, maybe I'll have an answer when I'm there, but I'm not sure. Yeah. You know what time of the day it is or no? That I'm recording? Yeah. No? Uh, afternoon. I'm not sure yet. Okay. Okay. And it's right in downtown Austin or no? I haven't gotten the address. i got to ask her that this week. Okay. Oh, you've been communicating with her? Yeah. Okay. That's right. right. Talk on the phone? Well, I don't need to get too specific. How do you think this will go, Justin? It'll be fine. I, yeah. I haven't seen Michael much will be good. I mean, first she's, date podcast before. Right. But I mean, I'm she's sure. dreadful, but Mike will be good. <laughs> I think she's terrific. Yeah, she's I, I already, I keep hmm? picturing Mike's, he's going to be sitting, he's going to have his cane like right here. Oh, yeah, Mike's have to blind it up for sure. Oh, I didn't yeah. think of that. I guess I will. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I'll have to hold the cane. Yeah, you have, yeah. To, act, you have to act very blind. Yeah. yeah. You grab her tits, huh, yeah. guys? Are you allowed to do it? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of, I mean, like, uh, I don't understand what kind of questions you like. What's it like to date when you're blind? 
It's almost, called Dana White. It's almost I don't like, know. It's almost like Albus is interesting should, about that. Yeah, idea, you, know? you should get like the. You should hire like the ugliest actress <laughs> in the world. You should. You like, should. This is Alba, my beautiful queen. It's just a guy. Yeah, it's just like me. You should yeah. really do that. That would have been great. She just bring Justin in a yeah, wig. I'd be that would have been that. great. That would have been awesome. But like, You'd be like, yeah, she's hot. She's fucking hot. Like, mm. All my all my friends are like you're so just, pissed. I look at like her producers. I'm like, hey, hands off, fellas. Yeah, I would say you're super protective. <laughs> just locked the cane. What the fuck are you doing? It's like feeling me up. Yeah, I wonder, what other angle can you do? Like, is like the blind guy with her? Yeah, I don't know. If they ha- like, what can you do? Like, if she asks you like just these stupid questions, like, I, what kind of questions is she gonna ask you, think, Justin or Coleman? Uh like how? I, I guess like how sex goes when you're blind. Yeah, I think there will be stuff like that. That that right. I have a tough time answering because I don't know. I can't give a sighted man. What fucking different is it? Like, I don't, you put your dick in there. I don't it's know, all dark anyway. Straight, half brother. The time. Yeah. yeah, like what? I, I don't really understand. We've just got like you. Yeah, I got. Come as hey, I said, let me show you, sweetheart. You know, right? Maybe I say that. Yeah, he's like, yeah. I guess periods don't matter as much. Maybe. <laughs> oh. No, I don't know. No, yeah, I don't know what yeah, to come I mean, out with. Yeah, that's true. yeah. Just oh. be like, just be like, I love fucking when she's having her period. Just be like super, <laughs> be as creepy as you can. Yeah, that's like, like we can't post this. Like, YouTube would just like she's, ne- she's almost never awake. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if she's awake or not. I don't know. Who the hell knows? I don't know. Put it anywhere. Have her like coming in like a one of those like doggy masks that's all leather. What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> What's a, a weird the, little inside New York. What's the payoff <laughs> there? <laughs> just be like, never come in like as an exploited college girl. I'm like, <laughs> hey, there's nothing wrong with. Like, I think that website might be down. Is that true? <laughs> they haven't posted anything in a while. Oh, very How frequently do you check? Uh, once every couple months. <laughs> <laughs> just happened to be yesterday it was two months on the I just feel like Mike will be very funny but he's gonna be like yeah it's like I like date somebody I don't know like I don't know what the like it's not like particularly ins- it's more I think like almost like an album perspective is interesting too yeah I think I think I'm but, gonna listen to a couple on the way down yeah but I think the basic format is she gets like the questions get raunchier as it goes along oh boy yeah, yeah. look out yeah look so I'm in the out. hot seat I stand corrected what's that uh we're back February eighth, they said Megan and Brittany are coming soon. So, oh good. Oh, That's friends good. of yours? Uh, no. Oh, and Brittany and Kelsey, they're back. Thanks and they're in college. And they're being exploited. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. And he's coming together. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, and you also see me this week, by the way, Mike, on the Bo Boys tomorrow. That's very exciting. And uh, the Springsteen podcast as well. Oh wow! All yes. your friends. All my first week. Yeah, they've been asking for a while. I'm finally. Before I take off, I'm able to fit some of the stuff in. So I think I'm going to a Springsteen show. Which show? Uh, the one on Mohegan. No one. Oh, with with whom? With uh, my buddy Mark. Oh God, he's a big. <laughs> I'm supposed to go to that show. I don't know. He's there. I don't want okay. you. Okay. I, I don't want you guys there. He went through the set list of the Gillette show. I think I knew four songs. Yeah, well, but I mean, you've never been, right? No, never. It's like been. an experience. Yeah. You know, once. It's not a bad seat in, in Mohegan. Honestly. Oh, Mohegan's the best place to see a concert. Yeah. I didn't realize I've gotten into Bruce a little more as years have gone on. And mm-hmm. I didn't realize, I think the three, at least you could argue, the three biggest uh, parody songs in this show's history are Bruce songs that like kind of ruined the Bruce. Like, Oh, definitely like, I'm uh, on fire in Human Touch. In Human Touch. Yeah, yeah. And I thought there was a third. Too. Is there? Yeah, I'm sure there is. Oh, Call yeah. for Glory Days. Is oh, that's, what I'm, that's yeah. exactly what I'm thinking. Oh, for sure. But I can't listen to those songs without definitely thinking Definitely I'm on the fire. Parody. Def- <laughs> and Human Touch, to be fair. Yeah. Um, oh, be a, before I go. So Clemmer's doing this thing. Oh. So I reached out to Clemmer. He was talking about coming in the studio at some point. And I said, how about the last week in February? So they can't or whatever it was. I'm doing this one. Have you heard of this, Mike? I don't think so. He's doing 100 hours of isolation in the New York office by himself. He's isolating himself like in a room Why? for 100 hours because everyone's doing these challenges. How? He is Mr. Oh, Beast. in a room of the office. Yeah. What's that? Okay. He's What'd become you- Mr. Beast. He's like Mr. Beast without all that baggage of success and money. <laughs> yes, he's freed himself of all that. Yeah, hey, Mr. There you go, call him Mr. Least. So he's gonna, <laughs> Mr. Least. I like that. Um, so he's gonna film himself for a hundred. Can he sleep? Or well, call call Clemmer quick. Jared Crabb is texting me Al Horford's career earnings. Thank you, Jared. <laughs> Just in time. How is he there, but not realizing you found it immediately? It was an hour ago, to be fair. Yeah, but you found it right after. No, I'm saying he texted me an hour ago. Too. Oh, I apologize. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got his number? Yes. 
It's a very funny response to get. Hey, can you do the show? No, I will be in isolation. I'll be in an isolation booth. Well, the thing is, the list of requirements. Hello. Well, that's the thing. So, so you're in. When is this isolation thing? Uh, the first week of March. First week of March. So, give me the quick like the details. Like, so 100 hours is that right or no? Yeah, 100 hours. 100 I'm hours. in uh, solitary confinement. No windows. <laughs> no clocks. No phone. <laughs> Uh yeah, and uh, but, but, I'll have like, but I have like being in prison like well, but I heard that you have like some demands that people can't make fun of you or what? What is it? What? What? Yeah, like, <laughs> what is it, Coleman? What is it like? People can't screw with you at night or yeah, something? Like you can't mess with you at night. Uh, no camera on your bed for like personal reasons. True or, or false? Is what we heard? No, no, that's not true. Those, that's, I, I that's know a, who Coleman. That, that's, I, a Col- I, that's what Coleman off, told I, me. I, Good. Well, I'd love to hear who Coleman's rat is. Who told you that? Coleman? That room, so. I don't know. The rats are ever frequent in that New York office. Well, who here. told you this? Uh, a member of the New York social team. Oh. Yeah, okay. no shit. Who called me? <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy. So, no, so none of that is true. It was Gia. No, so, so no. So, I, so, no. This is a meeting we had, which I thought was, you know, uh, a meeting Chris, kind of determining not, nothing what was going is, on. Well, come on. Apparently not. Yeah, nothing. Um, no, we were, I just said I didn't want to necessarily, like, on the foot of my bed. I'm like, have a camera on me. Fine. I just don't like you're well, so I mean, vulnerable when you're sleeping. Well, obviously, there has to be a camera on you the whole time, or this whole fucking thing is pointless, no? Of course. I just right. didn't want to necessarily be, like, you know, like, on my nostrils, like, while I'm sleeping. I just, what, are you doing, like, little, what, what are you doing for food? Um, I'm having, um, basically, like, three meals, like, plain bagel, chicken and rice, and a turkey sandwich, and I'll have that every day. Anything okay. to drink, Chris? <laughs> yeah, I'll have water, I'll have um, uh-huh. sodas, uh-huh. but I have but only, only to start with six. So then I have to like win prizes to win more. I think I start with like six high noons. Uh, I have to like win uh, more to uh, get yo, those. I'm sure well, you're about the ciders. That's just to keep away the, so. the withdrawals. <laughs> but we have showers and bathrooms and everything. I well, these drinks no, are... no shower. I have a I have a bathroom, oh. a toilet, and a sink, but no shower. And it what sucks. is what is the payoff? I just want to see if I can do it. Like, I've always <laughs> been I've always exist? been interested in. <laughs> we talked about this on your show. Like remember like Supermax. I remember like a couple years ago. We were talking about like. What would it be like? Could I survive in Supermax? Remember, I wanted to listen to uh, Colorado Rockies game. Oh, but, yes, uh, I do remember that. <laughs> you guys said that was not going to happen. Idiot. Well, I like that I like the Clemmer thought he was a serial killer. He's like, hey, boss, uh, Rockies wrote, late late start tonight. So we're <laughs> the, dumb, it's the dumbest person of all time. Rockies diamond. No, no, no. It's a, no, it's a, it's a good idea. If well, that was true, that would be very, very great. So, do you, do you, so I mean, what is your uh, one out of 10, 10 being no question? What is your confidence level? Eight, eight and a half. I think it's pretty doable. I think. I, I, yeah. I don't know. I've never done it. I also don't like. I hope this is entertaining. I don't know. I've never done anything like this before. So like, this could be like horrible. This could be could be compelling. I have no well, idea. When you, if you break down, was that Justin? Well, it is going. I mean, those drinks are going to be probably like piss warm throughout the hundred hours, right? Well, you have a fridge, right? I'll have a mini fridge. Yeah, I'll have a mini yeah. fridge with me. And well, a baseball almond. Is that like just, well. it's not like Justin's asking leading questions? Justin, it's Justin, sound bad. It's Justin, <laughs> Justin. It's just like prison. He'll have his. Uh, he'll have his cooler. He'll be fine. Yeah. What's the bathroom situation? Uh, yeah, uh, he has a bathroom, but no shower. Oh, okay. Right. Interesting. Huh. And no, Any other any questions for me, Justin, to make me sound uh, like an asshole? Uh, to make, uh, make it sound unbelievable. badly? Unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable. I, hear, I hear his voice. I, I hear Len's <laughs> voice dripping with negativity. Len is long <laughs> gone. Len's been replaced yeah. by a more boring version. <laughs> you have any questions for him, Justin? Or? Uh, oh, whoa, Clemmer, whoa, loves, Clemmer loves the fuck? <laughs> I've never heard that Clemmer laugh before. Clemmer, like Clemmer, oh, it's, it's, it's Sunday night. We're, we're, yeah, we're there. Uh, t- 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 can't fuck with him in the middle of the night. Right. No, so, yeah. No, I, he's he's well, going I mean, over it. So, so your sources are wrong. It sounds like, who knows, but it sounds like your sources are wrong, Coleman. Sounds like at least half of those were right, though. What's that? No, it sounds. It definitely sounds like Coleman's sources are good, which now I'm going to now oh. start going through the New York office and figure out who, who my little leak is here. When you say Because, I mean, that can work. Can't be fucking That can work a number of different ways. You saying you don't want anyone to like come in and rape you? Well, no, <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> is, 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 is anybody? So nobody else is obviously allowed to go in at all, right? Uh, n- uh right. No one's right. No one's in, in theory allowed to go in, right? Because so, it kind of ruins. Like, Sometimes it. it just like I agree. So like you know, when you're doing this kind of thing, you have an idea. You got to kind of be your own advocate a little bit because everyone else is like you know, you, like, like I rob, and everybody else is going to like do whatever they can to make it as miserable as possible. Right. You got to kind of push back a little bit, so it's a little bit of give and take there. Ah, do you think he'll do it, Mike? At a hundred hours, if you find out it wasn't that bad, will you just stay in there? Yeah, if it feels like it's like a dud, where you're like, "Oh, this was kind of easy." What do you What do you do then? I don't know. I guess you just like, "Hey, that was a that was a failure." I, yeah, or, or I, don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. Trying if something would be really hard. Yeah, I give him credit. I have a suggestion. Go ahead, Justin. I think it's interesting. 
What about if you choose when you leave? If it's less than 100 hours, you have to face some punishment. So you could be in there for yeah, 75 that, that, hours. That you have to do, I think, yeah. 200 I, hours, like you have to guess when You should hire an expert is. marksman. If you walk out the door, you get shot, shot in the face. Right. I think that's fair. <laughs> Well, I'm getting my meal, so I'll have an idea roughly of like what time it is, I guess, or at least I'll have I'll have an idea of like what you know. Oh, you should get your meals like beforehand. Who who, who oh, tells? Yeah, yeah, I assume. Yeah, who tells you it's a hundred hours? Uh, no one will. So, like, you know, How the I'll kind of go by when the meal comes. <laughs> what the, the fuck chat are will you be on talking? the whole time. Oh, the chat will be on. Okay, I got you. <laughs> oh, so, so like the so, chat, like, but the chat could like fuck with me, obviously. So they're, I'm not, I can't believe what they're going to say necessarily. So, like, right. you know, you kind of have that back and forth. So. Okay. Interesting. Think he'll do a Coleman or no? What are, what are the sources saying? Yeah. Do they, I mean, they think he'll do it or no? It's easy. You think it's easy? 100 hours yeah. by yourself? I doubt. Yes. Do you, Mike? I think you should have to have the food in there. Yeah. I don't think you should be able to this go. This feels like a no brainer factor situation. Like, I, you know, I don't know. Maybe. I would think. I would think. I, I, I brought know. it up to the, you know, I picked this back right before Christmas, I guess. So um, I really brought it up more and more in January. So I would have hoped it would be sold, but I, I don't know. To me. I don't know. Clever was way ahead of the to me. You should you, to me. You should have. To, I think you should have to masturbate at least twice in front of the, <laughs> in front of the chat. Yeah, don't you think? I think <laughs> yeah. Would that be? I this would have been a much harder challenge when I was eighteen. I think at forty four. I think I can hold myself for forty. I don't, I don't think I need to. Be I guess if you have COVID, that's fine too. Uh, there's no illness is almost or almost an advantage. If you're sick, you can kind of sleep more. Like I, you, I mean, so you have three meals. All right, yeah, you can do this baseball encyclopedia, which is like four thousand. But you'll be. I think you. I think you're going to do it. I think I'm. I think I'm, I'll have a notebook and I'll have like a Nerf hoop and a basketball, and that's all I'll have with. Me. Oh, good. A notebook. <laughs> I was, my next question was, do you have a Nerf hoop and basketball? So <laughs> I was a notebook. So yeah, it worked out. So no. Oh, so the no notebook is huge because then I can write down all my baseball stuff, and I sure. also can blog. I'm going to do some handwritten blogs. I think too. All of it. Oh, good. Be good. Or, or so it'll be horrible. I don't know. So if something massive happens in the world, like let's say no idea. Stephen Cohen does. <laughs> Yeah, well, let's say that the Mets, right, gets sold or something, or whatever. Like, right. It'd be great if hour one, Portnoy terminates the company. <laughs> and he's stuck in there for 99 just, more hours. They just remove the building. He's just stuck in the, he can't even get out. Everyone's gone. Huh. All right. No, well, like, well, if, like, Biden, if Biden dies, like, I won't know. Right. I, I'll have no well, idea. But the chat, and the chat but, could tell no. me, and I won't, I won't like, Right, I don't believe that. He comes out right. with my beard. <laughs> <laughs> my God. Yeah, how much how, how much how much facial hair we have in four days? None? Uh yeah, I don't know, a little bit. Like uh -huh. I have like a like a beginning of a goatee. I don't I, I won't look like Mike. Okay. What if you miss like a really great like um like Carano Joe Biden song? He's been killing it lately. Is that <laughs> I think he'll be all right. I mean, can you handle that or no? Well, I mean, it's you know, as long as like when I get out it's here for the first time, you know, That's be like, true. All right, you know then it'll, it'll yeah, it'll be the same excitement. I thought he'd covered everything. Yeah, he'd done it all. <laughs> all right, we'll talk to you later. Good luck. Oh, make sure you, Coleman, make sure you tell whoever the rat is. I said hi. Oh, oh, oh sensitive. Got him, got sensitive. Him. <laughs> That's a good source. I mean, yeah, you got to fuck with him a little bit. If he's in there, for like, what's the point, right? I think if it's a, if it's a hit. You got to turn the power off for like a day. <laughs> yeah. I think if it's a hit, then he does a month. Like, this I could just, be his thing. No, wrong. He just I, never I think, he's, I, think he just, I think he just stays there. <laughs> yeah. Do it for like a year. Four, I mean, I, I would, I'm not built for that. But like. I think it's not that dissimilar from my life when I was single. I like a shower. Stay you in know? the room. Yeah. I like a shower. I guess. Call me crazy. I like a shower. I suppose. But he's not going to do anything. Is he going to. He should do. You're right. Like for every. He should predict when the 100 hours is. And for every hour he's short, something has to happen. If it's 18 hours short, something happens. Takes an inch. What? He takes an inch. Yeah. Somebody. Yes. Yeah, some, one of these him. porn yeah. stars. Bangs him in the ass. Fills the room with toxic gas. That would be good. <laughs> yeah. But there should be challenges. Like if he's breaking like 60 hours in, if a guy comes in, he's like, look, if you suck his dick and, <laughs> and he comes down your throat, you can leave. Like something like that. Like, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, I mean, wouldn't that now be great? You're talking, this is brainstorm. This, again, yeah, this is just first draft stuff here. Yeah. But I'm saying this is the kind of stuff that could work. Sure. To see Clemmer battle that morality. Clemmer, famous homophobe. <laughs> battling that. It would I'm be shaking. interesting. Yeah, I just, I, don't know. I can't do that. But yeah. But I want, I want, so we won't be able to call him while he's doing it then. He said no phone. Okay. How does he have the chat? How does that work? I'm sure they'll just hook a TV up or something. They'll have like a laptop that you just can't use for anything else. They probably, they know how to do that okay. stuff, I guess. I suppose. I don't know. All right. Either way, uh, we're back Monday. Goodbye. A week from Monday. Goodbye.